Oh yes, good to be back at the Need to Know podcast. What's going on? Yo, Alex. Huh? Alpha. <laughs> is that is that you good? We good? <laughs> because because you hear my accent, now everything is not good. It's not good. If you are just yeah, racist, like, why are you confused, oh, Pierre? Yeah, if you are racist, just, Alex. just say it. If you are just racist, just say it I now. A, just say I, it. I got a thought provoking question for Alex. Oh, let's hear it. <laughs> it has to do with basketball. Okay, you're a basketball fan, right? I love the ten. Yeah. Did you uh get a chance to see the Raptors in a Magic game the other day? Black I, Dick. I, I saw Black Dick. <laughs> yes or no? There are two players on the team. Are you, what are you referencing? He asked you a question. I think it was pretty direct, actually. Yeah. Did you see Black Dick? Did you see Black Dick? Every day when I enter the shower, I see it. <laughs> I see that thing. So, what you are describing, I'm not really understanding it, bro. You're you going crazy, bro. Nah, I was just wondering <laughs> if you've seen the, uh, Black Dick. Are you talking about the jersey swap by, from Grady Dick and uh, what's his name, Black? I think Grady was a little too hyped to be next to the Black Dick. That's white boy humor. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. Like, he... They were both Caucasian, right? No, no, no. Nah, one of them. Oh, one of them Anthony was... Black was, was black. Black was black. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but okay. Dick, like, you can see he orchestrated the black dick. Like, he didn't want to be <laughs> Dick Black. Like, he knew, nah, I want to stand in that black dick. What? Like, the nigga had, yeah, he did that. <laughs> you That's be gonna be a crazy clip. I hope nobody does that. Crazy do snippet. That. I don't do that. <laughs> I thought it was silly. I thought it was funny. Like they're so unserious for that. White boys have a fetish with black dick though. Yeah, we yeah, we talked about this. Really? Yeah. One of your what? Caucasian friends, Sewan, remember? Oh. Uh, what he did? You know did, he did he like rename the group chat like Big Cock or something? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. White boys do have that type of humor. Chat. Yeah, that's a Alex, sick chat. Yeah. How, how do you know white people have a white men have a I went to school with a few of them. Uh went to a PWI. Uh, I hear their jokes in passing. Can you give us an example of one? Oh, no. I, one, one that stands out to you? Not Caucasian. I wouldn't know. But well, you remember, right? <laughs> not at all. Okay. I just remember how uncomfortable I felt, Pierre. Yeah, and I would never do that to you. That's the thing. I feel like there's been a lot of case studies, or there should be some case studies on like our culture's association with dick and gay jokes compared to like white people and why like they really thrive in that. And we kind of do. like, we don't really do that too much. <laughs> thrive in that. No, they really do. They, they, they thrive in that. They're definitely dick. a little bit more overt with it. Like straight <laughs> white men are very overt with their like dick jokes. Yeah. Yeah. And they'll admit to it. Like, yeah, we're, we're all gay with our friends. I'm mm. like, oh, shit. I and they know. always say cock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why does that word make you laugh? <laughs> I don't know. Why, why does it make you laugh? You're chuckling too. No, you made me laugh because when you said cock, I was like, oh I don't know. shit, ready to laugh. say cock. I don't know why. <laughs> what a word. Like, what the fuck? Where did you get that one? That one is just not nice. I hear it. It's not good. There's a lot of NBA players that you could put next to dick, and that shit just looks crazy. What the heck? Nazir Little? No. <laughs> Say what? Shots in the a little bit. Jelly fan. What up? Nah, for real. <laughs> Is there a little next to dick? Like, you can switch it up however you want. However you want to get back. Oh, like little dick? Yeah. <laughs> like, this mad name is Sorry, anything spelled out. Sorry. Dick can just go crazy, bro. Wait, and, what, we need, we, we could come up with one more. Just him, one more. Just him, more. him and Jalen Brown. Brown, Brown dick. <laughs> We're sick. I think James Harden would be tough. Harden dick? <laughs> Something like that. Nah, if somebody say that, he's just a little slow. What the <laughs> fuck is that? What the fuck is Harden dick? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot that you could, you could get real creative with that. Like, he could have a mid-NBA career, but just because of his last name, he could probably, like Kevin Love. Love dick. <laughs> It's Reggie, please. I'm sorry, I need to hear it out loud. The fact, the fact that I need, I'm that. a very like audible list, uh, learner. Yeah, the fact I, that Reggie said that it makes you know what I mean. Oh, well, love dick. I mean, if we really get to it, my nigga Rudy Gay been in the league for a long time. They can, make that go, they can make that go crazy. Gay what, dick. What's the meaning of this? What's the meaning of this? Rudy man? Gay next to Grady Dick could go crazy for the jersey swap. Uh, What's the meaning of this, man? I'm this just is so silly. I, I, yeah, I'm just thinking out loud. I'm just thinking out loud. That's your problem. There's a lot of names. That's your problem. You need to keep your thoughts to yourself. That's your problem. It's a podcast. <laughs> Actually, not. Okay, supposed you to know do that. what? I, I regret it. It's true. Sorry. You don't have anybody in the NBA that you can match with Grady Dick, and then we can like kind of get into the episode. I told you, Jalen Brown. That's the guy. Jalen Brown. That's the guy. Okay, Jalen Green. There's a lot of colors. <laughs> Green Dick. <laughs> Y'all know better than white boys. <laughs> nah, I mean, <laughs> I just thought it was dope, man. I thought it was dope. Yeah, that was uh, funny. <laughs> it's good to see y'all again. Gang. Good to see you guys. I just saw you guys like 48 hours ago. Yeah, but just we took about. a week off from the pod. 
Oh, shout out to HD Been Dope too. Oh, yeah. I know a lot of people talking nine to that episode word. Shout out to HD. HD. That was a very fun episode. If you haven't had a chance to go check that out, please make sure y'all go check that out. Right. Um, but we didn't see each other in the studio last week, and it's always kind of weird when we don't. But mm-hmm. we did see each other outside. We did. Mm-hmm. We did. Pisces season was upon us, everybody. It was hey. my lovely boyfriend's birthday on Saturday. We went, we had a, we had an outing. Even freaking Karen came. Woo! Hey. Okay, clap it up, everybody. Yeah, Karen. No, honestly. <laughs> coming, up, coming to socialize up, with us. My favorite white boy. Clap yes. it for my favorite white. Our Caucasian white. producer, everybody. Yeah, that's right. And we all had such a perfect time. One thing about my man, he knows how to throw a party, okay? Yeah, he knows how to pack does. that shit out. Did he you guys does. have fun, my fellas? Oh. I did. I had a, <laughs> I had a great time. Honestly, like, I like those type of party like events like it mm-hmm. wasn't like a party party because everybody was kind of familiar with each other mm-hmm. like but, you kind of oh, yeah. you keep seeing like, the same faces and shit it's like oh hey how you it doing? was like familiar yeah. enough to like where you had a fun time because you could talk to people but also you met someone new there like there, yeah. there was like lots of different crowds yeah. like yeah. my friends my alex's friends yeah. and so yeah. on and so forth yeah. so it was perfect i like yeah. his parties because you could talk sports yeah mm-hmm. next sec you'd be with a baddie in a corner mm-hmm. like that's Period. that's Facts. my type of party that's a, that's a perfect I mean mix. a lot of new people honestly Meet a lot of new people. A lot. <laughs> okay, you guys keep giggling on the side. You gotta tell me what you guys this little nah, inside you know, joke. You know when you start out when you be going out, right? Yes. You just be meeting new people. No okay. one new, new folks. New Who folks. Who'd you guys meet? Huh? Meet new friends? Yeah. Yeah. New friends. Everybody was new. <sighs> Everybody was new. But it was a really phenomenal time. <laughs> Honestly, I'm I'm mad pussy because everything I say on this podcast, I couldn't say to John's face with confidence. I'm so disappointed in you. I couldn't. I couldn't. I'm so disappointed. It just got because but like he's a character on my like in my head mm-hmm. on this part he's a character and, yeah he is and he knows and, that and like you know like, like i don't even want to talk about it. like we started out with grady dick <laughs> we ain't even got to go to john right now oh but my just no god shout out to john, please, man. like that's 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 what the you guy. trying to say please bro, please, bro i don't me. know <laughs> nah <laughs> yeah, don't are you know. flexing this guy's flexing i don't know oh I don't my god know. and then savon came shy? in during the big old birthday toast he came with like his bucket hat low and just came in and started like turning shit up just like he's like yo what's up in that formation. <laughs> I did, I did. I had With a good beige time. bucket hat. In that formation. See, that's how I, I know you it. was a little lit. It was black. It was black? <laughs> was it black? It was black. I black. think the shirt was kind of <gasps> like a yeah. like Alex's sneaker. Yeah. Yeah, what the, yeah, the shirt was like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't do beige hats. That's all right. Reggie, you just had a good time. You sure? just had a good yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just had a good time. I could have sworn. Like oh, Anthony bad. Black. I just keep my shit black. <laughs> Same old. Okay. Yeah. What's your black problem? Yeah, black. Sorry. Chai. Go pre Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. The bit is over. The bit is over. But um, I enjoyed myself, though. Did you? I did. Yeah. Absolutely. It was a great time. Great time, man. What's your problem? What's your problem? You're acting as if you want to say something. Yes. Say. Yes. Nothing to say. Okay, for all What's the your problem? audio listeners huh? on the YouTube, if you see the YouTube, Savon mm. is acting a little coy. I, am I? I don't always I don't know. When a nigga on. say Emma, <laughs> Emma? Emma? Like, oh, like, so. I, I love when we ask Alice a question. He goes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Like when he doesn't want to answer, <laughs> yeah, yo, no. keep that on the low. Use that for the people in your life. Uh, man. Uh, but as always, it's mm-hmm. just it's good to see y'all. Yeah, um, a lot sure. of shit has happened since the last time we spoke. Before we actually get into everything, this is the Need to Know podcast. I go by the name Savon. Yeah, yeah, what up, y'all? It's your boy A. As always, the Paco Rabone Poppy. Never alone. I'm always with the posse. And guys, it's me, Regina. And I can't even finish my intro because I'm so excited to tell you guys something. <laughs> Not the boys, but the girls. Aww. So I had an experience, you know, you know, we have our friends over at Underdog Fantasy, the, yeah, the people that we partner with, our friends. So I decided to give it a try. Okay. And I just, you know, I'm not like a sports expert, but I, you know, I literally casually scroll on the app. I picked a cute little game that was going on and then it makes it very easy for you. So I picked a guy, his name was Kyle Kuzma, Shout you know, Kyle Kuzma. Pretty, pretty big deal or Kuzdick. whatever. So Say, what's your problem? I wrote down my notes. <sighs> Because I wanted to like show you guys. So all you have to do is guess, for the ladies, guess <laughs> if he's going to have a higher number of certain points or lower. And then I hit the chat and I like I was like, guys, do you think he's going to he's gonna have higher than this or lower? And it's literally that easy. We exchange a couple, you know, educated guesses. Yeah, yeah. And then I fucking hit. Okay. Hey, I won, you know, a couple bucks. Shout out uh, to you. And then I went and got my nails done. Bada bing, bada boom. Is that easy, ladies? <laughs> wow. Okay. Use code need to know for a, for a matchup. What is it? Matchup up, up to $100. $100. Yeah. Up to 100. Literally, it's so easy. Just pick a team. See? Look up like, oh, did he have like 30 points last game or whatever? And then just do it. And then win, you know, a couple weeks See, this, this is why I love sports. 
is bringing men and women together. Literally, yes. we had a little bonding moment in the chat. I we just, did. I'm sorry, I just had to get that on my chest, you guys. <laughs> that was so did. excited. We I literally did. won. No, no, I'm so excited with myself. Shout out to you. Shout out to you because <laughs> you, 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 you did that, and your nails look phenomenal. Oh, by the way. Yeah. Your nails look you phenomenal. Know, classy, Shout out to Kyle, right? That's Kyle on the nails. Yes, I won because of him. So yes, that promo code is need to know. By the way, that is N E E D T O, not the number two. Right. No, K N O W. Not yeah, some man. people cannot really be spelling, so I like the way he did it. Yeah, 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 I got you. Sometimes a lot of people like to put the two, like the number two, and I feel like yeah. we never really associated ourselves with being number two in anything. So like, why Ooh. the fuck would you put a number two? Because there? we come from the Y two K era. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, that makes sense. You know that saying? makes sense. Yeah. That actually leads me to where I want to go. Okay, my life, my childhood is in shambles. I don't know how to feel on oh. the time of this recording. Oh my god, guys. Life sucks. Truth be told. Yeah, I feel a little weird right now. I'm happy they ruining our uh childhoods. Please don't. Oh, you mean like exposing everything that happened? I'm so happy. Expose the truth. It's time. Okay. No, nah, I'm I'm done. I see the angle, but like fuck the two fairy. And oh. Santa. And Santa. And, and Mr. Close. Okay. It's some part of my childhood. I'm I'm glad that it's being debunked. Hmm. You're saying like might as well have been told the truth from the start. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Are you gonna no. tell you? Are you gonna tell your kids there's like a tooth fairy? Hell no. Are you serious? If you, I have a girl, wait, yes. By the time I have a kid, that shit not gonna be out of. St wait, that shit still in style? If I have, a, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. mean, how are we know? We're not kids. No, my sister, she lost her tooth a few years ago. She believed in the tooth fairy. I thought they for hmm. a little bit. You know how we stopped supporting yeah. Christopher Columbus? I thought they just stopped supporting the tooth fairy. Is the tooth fairy <laughs> problematic though? Is it, he didn't steal land. <laughs> nah, he take credit from the parents. There you go. He, and, and the Columbus took credit from the Native American. But do you yeah. like? You don't want to kill your kids' imagination. Like they're gonna find out at some point. No, it's like wrestling. At some point, I like I used to defend wrestling uh, is real. I remember Stone Cold used to really stun at these niggas. Like <laughs> when you really look at wrestling, letting a nigga hit you eighteen times in the head before you do anything <laughs> is mad fake. But when I was younger, I believed that shit. It was the magic. It was the imagination. Like yeah. don't kill. Like at some point, I'm gonna grow up and be like. Oh wait, this big ass black nigga let this little ass nigga do this. Like you just no. reality sets in. There's yeah. different ways to make their imagination work. You heard Cat Williams read three thousand books a month, and then you'll be somewhere. You'll that, be in Narnia. Not, you'll all, be in the, not all kids. Cat Williams that. got choked out by a fourteen year old. You gotta take some of the things that hey, he man, did. Gotta with take certain, brain assault. Gotta take certain things in stride, man. Books don't work assault. for all kids. But yeah, man, I don't want to kill my kids' imagination if they believe in it. Because at some point, yeah. I think they're going to know. They're going to realize. Yeah. Like, it's a gradual thing. And I think that's one of the, the, the tricky parts. Like, none of us have kids, but... Oh, it's a gradual thing? That's my problem. I don't do anything gradually. I just stop everything cold pizza. Just... But why would you do that to your child? In my opinion. Yeah. I don't know. Because I'm sure somebody can make the case for like, no, man, fuck the two fairies. It's a little selfish. <laughs> See, I had to grow up really quickly. I'm trying to put that in my kids. <laughs> Mm. See, crazy. I want the opposite. Yeah. We had to grow up quickly, like so I don't want my yeah, I don't Stay want there. my kid to have to grow up. I battle that with fast. this. I, I know you do this because we're gonna be, yeah. you know, very we're God willing, we're gonna be well off, have be big beautiful homes, have money. Like our kids don't have to struggle, mm -hmm. but then I don't want my kids to grow up, like spoiled and like just because the struggle made us. Yeah, like we're really Facts. like Facts. hardworking because of that. So I, I really think about this a lot. I'm like, am I gonna give my kids? I'm, if I'm, am I going to give them the princess treatment mm. or give them a little bit, bit of reality? I think I want to give them princess treatment, reality, you know. But that I also don't want them to be delusional. <laughs> for okay, sure. okay. I that's think that's where word. the buck stops for me. The moment we start entertaining things that are completely delusional to you. Like the tooth fairy? Yeah, I'm like, duh. <laughs> You're like, you just don't see the need for it. Come Is on. your parenting style going to change depending on if you have a boy or a girl? I think it probably I, does. Yeah, I think it has to, right? Yeah. Or, or, I, think, yeah, I think like yeah. just naturally we treat them differently. Boys and sons and daughters. Yeah. Like my son gonna have to know. come out the womb doing push-ups. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna put that on my girly. No? Nah. Hmm. nah. What's one of the things that your daughter's gonna have to do coming out the womb? <laughs> I, I don't That's know. A weird question. That's a weird question. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Just be herself. No. I just want her to <laughs> be a princess. There you go. Yes, I just want her to exist in her beauty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just exist. And love mommy and daddy. Yes. Oh, yeah, right. You hear the voice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't ever sound that soft in my ear. Like, love like, mommy and daddy. Oh, boy, ready, <laughs> nah, see, that's the other Don't thing. ever come off the black dick question to the mommy and daddy. Like, nah, don't do that to me. Don't, don't do that. Don't come off of it mad soft. What? You did Chris? That's what you hey, just yo. said. You, you could have you you did took a softer approach. <laughs> you could have took the softer like, approach. Even that right there. We talk to, I feel like, um, we talk to 
each kid differently. Yeah. Like you, you're a little bit softer with you know girls, yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then you're a little bit more um you know man not manlier but stronger like rough. With guys with boys, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. That makes sense. I, I feel like whatever that is, and, and y'all watched this documentary, uh, Quiet on Set. Yes, y'all heard about it. Yeah. Shout out to the OG Drake. Shout out to the real Drake. Shout out to the one and only. There was Drake before Drake. Drake I remember Bell. when Drake, Drake came Bell. out, and I would only think of one Drake. See, I don't like that we got to put Bell on it because he was just Drake for Mad Long. <laughs> he was the original Drake. He was like, just yeah, Drake, right. right? So when we talk about Drake, we're gonna talk about Drake as if he's Drake, not okay. Drake. Nah. Okay, got it. You hear what I'm saying? That shit. Sorry, I love Drake Bell. That was a long time ago. We are gonna call you Drake Bell today. Nah. <laughs> you don't be appreciating <laughs> you Drake, Drake Bell today. That's the problem. I just said I salute our producer. Karen. Yeah, you just met this nigga. Like you, you he can't be said. your favorite white off the first. Says meet. who? <laughs> Off the first link? That's my guy. Like, you met mad other whites in your life. Okay. We went to, like, a predominantly white school. Okay. I didn't like them. This one is good. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm talking about the, the original Drake, bro. Drake Bell. OG Drake. <sighs> um, and, and, and a ton of child actors. Uh, Nickelodeon, in general. Mm-hmm. There was a documentary, <clears throat> Quiet on Set. Yeah. A lot of creepy people, a lot of creepy men. Uh, in particular, and it kind of just tells the story, horror stories, I should say, mm-hmm. of some of the the traumas that the child actors have gone through, being a part of that production, being a part of certain shows. Yeah, Dan Schneider, creepy, creepy, mm-hmm. creepy yeah. guy. Dan Schneider, you are a sick fuck. Brian Pecker, Brian Peck, nasty oh man, nasty Shit. fucking man. Yeah, for sure. Um, we'll send it around the two of them. Cause in, in uh, handy. I found it so Jason, fascinating. Jason These guys, Handy? Jason Michael Handy or some shit. Gotcha. I don't know. Let's let's get his name. I think it was uh, Jason Yeah, Handy. if you don't mind. Yeah, gotcha. I do remember it was Handy and I remember Peck. Mm-hmm. And I remember Brian saying, Peck. all right, God, like whatever's going on, whatever the, the <clears throat> writers are writing this shit in a in, in a way where it's like really creepy. Um but yeah, quite on set. I feel like spoiler alert for those who haven't seen it. Mm-hmm. Um and also a trigger warning. <laughs> yeah. Because Massive we're talking about warning. sexual assault. Um, sexual harassment and some unimaginable things. Um, but right. y'all did see it, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Right. His name is Jason Handy. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember Jason Handy. This hit a, this hit home a little bit because we're kids in the nineties. Fact. Right? Like n- literally, a lot of people say like, "Oh, I grew up on these shows." Like we, us, our age, yeah. we we grew up on these shows. And this was like, the wave of Nickelodeon shows yeah. after the animation, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. After the Cat Dogs, after the yeah, SpongeBob's, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? This is more the tween the tween era. Yo, that's how I know you was my guy, bro. What's up? You named Cat Dog first. That's my shit. Nah, that shit. <laughs> that's, that's my son, shit. That shit Rocco's World. Cat Dog. Like, yeah. imagine they used to do two men. Yeah. No, wait, oh, what? Whoa, What's whoa, your problem? Whoa, whoa. No, they used to run down on some Chill, shit together, bro. Which cat and dog? They was connected. They ran down yeah, on they was, shit. It was original hoes. I ain't gonna lie. Cat was really the, the dog, front. Though. One get the front. One get the back. You feel what I'm saying? Freaky shit. What the fuck? Shit. What what the fuck? Bro, like. Right, oh, my man. It's funny you said that. Facts. Yes. Now, as we're talking about our childhoods being ruined, etc. As a kid, I thought I just had erroneous lewd behavior. All right, I thought it was I thought it was me that was creating some of the things that I was seeing on on the TV. Also, you you've been thinking that these are like freaky things. Yes, really, I had no idea. Yeah, you never saw. Like I remember watching shows like Sorry SpongeBob. (laughs) They would just inappropriate make something look like a dick. Oh, I didn't. But, but I'm a but I'm a kid. <laughs> you but you are seeing, you seeing at that since that age you like saw it like <laughs> yeah. And I thought I was the one in the wrong. But you're not wrong. Uh, these crazy. sick fucks that make these shows I really no intentionally I, did that. There you go, Reggie. But, I had no idea they were purposely inserting that mm-hmm. for me to see and react to. It goes back I know to, I to the earlier point of like having the imagination. Yeah, <laughs> because some, you had to grow up quick. <laughs> yeah. So somebody like you, you yeah. was forced to see the dick. You couldn't help Whoa. it. What's your mouth? I was not forced I don't to see the dick. You know, I wasn't forced. Like, no, you know what I'm saying. I like, wasn't forced. You, you don't do like, that. Yeah, I was trained to see that, bro. Please, bro, because you had to grow up quick, bro. Mm-hmm. You, no, for real. I just identify with certain things quicker. Like the innocence yeah. was lost. Like yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. somebody like yeah. myself who was just living in bliss for like my first twelve years mm-hmm. in life, like I didn't, yeah. I didn't see, I didn't get right. those concepts. There I didn't understand a, that. There was a ton of movies, TV shows that just made me think as a kid. Yo, my mind is in a gutter. Mm. Mm-hmm. So it was I wouldn't say satisfying because this entire docu series was disgusting. 
Yeah. But, mm-hmm. but like personally yeah. vindicated. Personally vindicated. Thank mm-hmm. you. That's a great word. It just made me feel a little bit better that, all right, cool. Oh, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Okay. Like, yeah. At the time of this recording, I am on episode four. I'm about halfway oh. through episode oh, four. So I haven't, right seen, I haven't seen the full thing. Yeah. Um, I'm still making my way through it. Okay. But there were a few things that kind of stuck out to me. Again, this is, if you didn't watch it and you plan on watching it, you might want to fast forward right now. Or if you don't give a fuck about spoilers, you can kind of, mm-hmm. you know, sit or here. Or if you just want to hear our good commentary. This is also an idea. Uh, documentary you can find it on hbo max if you haven't hey, seen it. hey hello shout out to max yeah but um <laughs> <laughs> yeah there was a few things that i i, I noticed and that kind of piqued my my interest and i was like all right wait so the first thing that i wrote down because i was kind of taking notes because i didn't i didn't want to like, forget potter. anything i didn't want to forget anything so i'm like all right the first thing i realized was black parents have a different type of intuition and i'm glad that that was shown on national tv mm-hmm. yeah all right white ones too I don't know if you got there yet. Nah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Very different. So- yeah. No, he's talking about the first episode, the girl that was on all that. I want to keep going. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking about the yeah. girl and, and the guy and the young man. Yeah. Uh, oh, again, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Pierre, if you don't yeah. mind just pulling up these you mean names. Katrina Johnson? Katrina Johnson, yeah, yeah, but I'm talking yeah, about the yeah. young the young man who was on that. Oh, the black guy. Black dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, oh, token, oh, the token black guy from nose, all that. Nose boy. Yeah, him. See, like not, his name. We're not calling him nose boy. No, I'm saying that's the reference. Lil Fetus. Not... They did We're gonna respect so him and look up his name. He said he's still in therapy over Stand this by. shit. Come on, it's fucked up. Come on, don't do, don't call. But anyway, but that's his true. Mom, they definitely like saw it. Yeah, and and even to and I know we'll get to Drake, like the real Drake. We'll mm-hmm. get to Drake's like um his father. <laughs> his father also had that intuition too. So I'm not just yeah. gonna make it a black white thing. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I think the thing that kind of stuck out to me was first off how they implied the undertone or the underlying racism, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, like how um, the black kids were less favored, and it was very obvious to everybody. It was never overt, but they implied it. Mm-hmm. And then also how protective the mother was over her son being there and looking and seeing things and saying things yeah. and then being reprimanded from it. And I thought that was like, oh, wait, okay, because, you know, black people or just anybody you can identify with on TV is like, oh, mm-hmm. shit, that would probably be my mom. Or, yeah. you know, I've seen an aunt. I know an aunt who had the same type of temperament. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. right. for me, it was nice to see, like, all right, cool. There was somebody who wasn't afraid to speak up, Mm -hmm. who did pay attention to the things that I feel like as a parent, I hope to pay attention to. You know, like, there's just certain things. So I I thought that was dope. I got the name also. Yeah, let's get that. Uh, Brian Christopher Hearn. Got you. Thank you. Now, when Brian's mom spoke up, it's funny, right? Mm -hmm. One thing that was particularly sad to me when I saw it, they let him go eventually from the the All That show is what we're Mm -hmm. referencing. Dan Schneider was executive producer of All That Dan Schneider was executive producer of the Amanda Bynes show, right. etc. cetera. Um, and Brian was a character on the All That Show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't think they brought him back for the, the latter seasons of it. And he got so upset with his mom, yo. Yeah, that was, and that's I, and what that hurts. Was, that was heartbreaking to see because he mm-hmm. was too young to understand why it was being mm-hmm. done, right? For him in his head, he was like, yo, my mom constantly uh brings up things to the cast Mm -hmm. and to the people that work above me Mm -hmm. so i think she's the issue i think she's the reason why i don't have a job we could put ourselves in the kids shoes like imagine how that must feel and like it's just so much manipulation going on because the these creeps that are running the show like the producers and all that they manipulate the kids and being like oh like aren't you don't you feel weird about your mom being on set like don't you feel weird your dad is always hanging around when in reality these parents are trying to protect their kids but now they're like poisoning these kids minds and being like yo you having your mom around is not cool it's just so much like predatory behavior it's actually sick yeah uh. yeah i i I felt i felt bad for that yeah. but then there was also like a silver lining where i'm like oh this mother protected her son mm-hmm. at the expense of their relationship mm-hmm. but he doesn't have or he, at least he didn't mm-hmm. share any of those horror stories of being sexually assaulted or you know feeling violated in that way uh off camera like he felt violated on camera yeah. which is understandable being put in a bodysuit and mm-hmm. having a big nose as a black guy and dicks on your shoulders like yeah, I can imagine that's, that's pretty fucked up mm-hmm. but as far as some of the things that like um drake he he experienced and some of the other cast members and again i didn't get all the way through i can't wait to get up to like the amanda portion of it because oh, i man. feel that build up coming like I, <laughs> yeah, that shit was a did lot. it get there it, it's it's not coming. It, it, it it's like this. oh it's only a four-part series so all yeah, right maybe yeah. it doesn't go up to amanda no no, no but, it, 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 it did. Went to amanda. amanda was episode one so yeah it was two. like one two or three it was one of the no but what i'm like oh her how, story. yeah i thought gotcha. she would get like a one-off i don't think oh, she's gonna oh, get okay. gotcha. yeah. i'll take that back it felt like they teased it throughout the whole thing because they were they were referencing her in the beginning like how it's starting yeah but just 
Oh well, yeah, you go my, here. My only question though is, you know, I always think when stuff like this, exposés like this, come out, my first thought is, well, no, well, one of my first thoughts is like, why now? Like, I don't get it. Like, like I, I wonder what was the catalyst to, um, have this come out now. Like, what happened to have this come out now? Well, I'll speak from what I saw in the documentary, and all of the people who were brought up to speak were most of the people that were uh, employees of majority of the shows on the Nickelodeon network. They said, yo, people are afraid to speak up. That's why you only really see the few of us here in these confessionals, right? So, so I don't really have an answer for that per se, but I do know people were afraid because at that time, again, social media isn't as prominent. So executives have a ton of power, yeah. especially when you can't go to no shade room, you can't go to no blog here, you can't, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. go up on YouTube and be like, yo, this person is doing X, Y, and Z to me. So the, the other crazy thing too that you mentioned that, yeah. um, there was a lady, Christine, uh, Christine Stratton, she, yeah. I think she was a writer on the show. Um, Dan asked her to uh, kind of bend over on a table and, you know, manipulate or not manipulate, but kind of show off. And act sodomized. being sodomized. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was sick. Was there was a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of sick things happening on that office in that production. Those people in particular. Um, <laughs> I think it also let me see just the importance and the power of social media because something like this could not happen today. I don't, I, I don't believe so, right? Like wow. the fact that there was multiple... Like it wasn't just one. It was Handy. It was Peck. It was another. It was a third guy, some black dude. Like yeah, it multiple. was a lot of predators mm -hmm. around, being fired, <clears throat> being convicted. And at the time of all of this happening, Dan is still putting out these shows. I'm still watching as a kid. I remember yeah. when all of these shits came out. Like it was lit. We had the mm -hmm. illest slate ever, bro. Crazy. It went from fucking uh, Drake and Josh to another show to another. Like mm -hmm. it, it was just ill. So none of that even got released to the public. So. In a way, you're not protecting them in any front because you're not protecting them behind closed doors. And then there's no social outrage to be like, oh, let's protect this person. Mm -hmm. Let's protect these people either. So for me, it showed the importance of social media yeah, and how like everything is always a gift and a curse. And I think this is one of the gifts where you could get a message out like that because there's no way, mm -hmm. again, spoiler alert, there's no way that somebody like Brian Peck can literally be convicted of what he was, have to register to be a child sex offender on the sex offenders list and then get rehired on another kid's show for fucking disney yeah damn sweet life is Zach and no, Cody. i feel like that answers the what question the fuck? that answers the question of like why now though like when people speak up people love to be like why did they wait so long but it's like now you finally have the support of like a network to like create a documentary like this like people try to speak up like the amanda Bynes writers the women they tried to speak up one literally sued yeah, yeah. and they're like nah, anyway whatever and then they just kept going like people try to speak up all the time but no one fucking believes them and then dan schneider finds out and then blacklists you from all of hollywood and now you have you cannot make money for the rest of your life yeah so it's really hard to speak up and i'm just glad that People, I feel like people haven't talked about Dan for decades, but mm -hmm. now everyone actually <clears throat> believes the victims for yeah. once. So, too fuck him. Like too, <laughs> too much men in those writing rooms. Yeah, you know, <laughs> to see as we're watching that there was it was ruled by men. No, you mean okay, yeah, men in power. Yeah, men in power. Okay. Yeah, in the writing rooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I, what what I watched at least, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was only like two women that were uh -huh. on on shows that work with Dan. Yeah. So for me, you ever watch some of these cartoons coming up and? Some of the content looks like cum shots. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Like, whether it be a, a kid playing with toothpaste and then it yeah. spurts into the face of, the, mm -hmm. of the, their friend, or a kid playing with some gel and then it just splooshes on somebody's faces. It made me realize why all of this made sense now. The joke for these guys was getting away with it. Oh, was shit. getting away oh. with the placement like it's right in your face was getting away with the sexual uh the placement of sexual innuendo mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like yeah as a kid though i'm like oh, that like, was random fuck? yeah like, <laughs> what's the joke in that what's funny uh -huh. about that and, and you get older now and they even said in the doc like no that was what made it funny for them like they getting got, away with it they got off on that yes. like that's so absolutely disgusting absolutely yeah. intertwining like your fetishes into it like the feet stuff yeah mm -hmm. right um, like you said, the the reenactment of like cum shots, things like that. Like it was sick. It's it's crazy. And they always say like the the worst type of people. It goes back to like R. Kelly. Yeah. Like you hide in plain sight, mm -hmm. right? And these people were literally mm -hmm. hiding in plain sight, putting their fetishes on display for everybody. Like and even going back and and again, I haven't seen. So where I'm at, right? They are really focusing <laughs> on Brian Peck. 
Like yeah. the Drake episode. Yeah, yeah they're really focused they deep dive. on Brian Peck. And I don't know if y'all remember, but when I was younger, I remember Drake and Josh, Drake in particular, like he was he was the guy. Oh yeah, yeah he was a rock he was star. A guy, he yeah. was like he Man, was he, him. Was, a, yeah. he, he was the guy. Yeah. And all I could think about is how we just never know what people are going through yeah. at yeah. any point in time because he was literally on top of this teen tween industry Empire, yeah, yeah. and he was going through the worst parts of his life and he also, couldn't he even could, remember something he it. went through it alone for a long time because he felt like he couldn't tell anybody no one would fucking believe him and yeah. he literally had to be like i'm sure you're warning we we said that but like he literally had to be sexually assaulted repeatedly by this guy that everyone loved and like i can't imagine what that feels like for a 14 year old boy like yeah. i can't imagine that like and, and, and trigger warning right here again Drake speaks about being sodomized by Brian Peck. Wow! Before we even s knew about the Drake and Josh show. Yeah, like so now crazy. that fucked me up because <laughs> I'm like, yo, this kid Drake Bell was able to put on the best poker face for however many seasons like, what? and be that entertaining while he went through that before they mm -hmm. even started taping Drake and Josh. It's, yeah. it's, 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 and and they took away the one person who was advocating for him, which was his dad. His dad, like like Savon was referencing, like you know how your parents, you know the intuition. His dad called it from the start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, literally since they met this Brian guy, yeah. and he was trying to get everybody to listen. Like, hey, don't let my kid near that guy. But then, as master manipulators do, Brian drove a wedge between Drake and the dad. And then, like, and then he, this part almost made me cry. He was like, oh, like, I felt like my dad was going through another divorce again because now my mom, like, I was taken away from him mm -hmm. because now the mom had custody. Like, Drake was like, I want to go live with my mom now. And then, but the dad, all he's trying to do is protect him when no one would believe the dad. I was like, fuck. It was fucked up. Uh, it was but it's all up. manipulation. Like, yeah. It yeah. feels like, too, Hollywood experiences this a lot mm -hmm. with, like, mm -hmm. you know, sexual, um, uh, deviant assault, sexual assault, and all that stuff. Yeah, it's it's uh, I'm, I, I, just, I just always wonder, like, I wonder why Hollywood gets most of this stuff. Or I guess it's, it's put out that Hollywood is they more. get away with it, like, and uh, then they hold because they can hold it over your head and hold your dreams over your head. And it's also power, like, I think power yeah, is, is one of those things, and it kind of blends in with all the Diddy shit, too. Because uh, things that Diddy's being accused of, the allegations against Diddy, it's almost hand in hand as far as just power. Like you, men in these positions seem to get so thirsty, get so uh, detached yeah. from reality and mm -hmm. from human experiences. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that all they want is how can I accrue more power and what is going to make me feel more powerful? You get what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I, I heard this story and I, I don't fucking know how true it is. Um, but you can look it up, actually. It's somebody else documented this. He said that one time, someone walked in on Diddy receiving head from a man. When he was done, he was like, yo, I just wanted him to suck my dick because I feel powerful letting, ha making a man do that for whatever reason. Jack. It was a power thing. Like power It was trip. a power thing. Yeah. That's, that's, it, yeah. Jesus so yeah. I think a lot of these people are in those positions because, you know, you, you just continue to get mm -hmm. more power. I'm glad you brought Diddy up because it reminded me of this too because... The reason why Cassie couldn't speak up for like over 10 years is because she included it in her um, lawsuit that every time she tried, Diddy would be like, yo, I'm going to find you though. Like, where are you going to run? Yeah. She can't, she can't go to this secret house in like Hawaii or go to like her cousin's house because he can find her. So that's why people can't speak up. Mm -hmm. And it's like similar in Hollywood, like these child actors, like they're like, this is their whole life. So like, where yeah. are they going to go? Where are they going to work? And so it's pretty isolating. Not for nothing. I should have known something was up when I heard that girl say, man, I should have known. I should have some freaky shit going on. What did the man have to do? I, I, I don't know. The man was tough. Dancing the lobsters. Tough. Dancing lobsters, man. I should have known. No, you should have known with Pickle Man. Yeah, nah, and that was That's Brian. That's really what funny, you should have known. Funny Pickle Man. The nigga was walking around with the dicks. Funny because that was Brian Peck. He was uh, picking that's man. like that makes yeah. no sense. He has no yeah. role. Yeah. I don't even think he really spoke. They yeah. even implied like the little glory hole. Yeah, yeah. When he was oh trying to God, feed the that. pickle through the hole. Like you're a kid not this even is realizing sick it. Sick yeah. stuff. You're like, a kid not even realizing yeah. it. And um, I didn't realize how talented Amanda Bynes was. Yes. She, you saw that yeah. shit in the. Yeah. She was a doing, natural. She like, was doing stand up at ten at yeah. the Laugh yeah. Factory in L. A. Yeah. And look what he did. I'm 28 this month. 
I can't do that. <laughs> Ooh, every season. Hey, hey yo, we in mode. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro, just I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. I'm glad you brought, because it did highlight her talent and it shows how they pray, how they pray yes. on the talented ones and how they remove the parents. And it's mm-hmm. almost, it's like a system, right? Like, yeah. it's yeah. almost like a system in place. So, and I know Dan and, and his little crew, they're not the only nasty ones. I hope no. this is a domino effect. I think yeah. Because there's a lot of other people, a lot of other kids, like, there's no way. Mm-hmm. And, and let's, let's go to Orlando Brown. Right, like oh, all of these shit. child child stars wow. who suffer from yeah. drugs and, yeah. and mm-hmm. all these traumas, and they look crazy, and the media tries to paint them to be crazy. Mm-hmm. I actually want to go back a few years. Drake Bell was being accused of sexual assault. Yeah, the I media tried out. to come and tarnish Drake Bell's name just a few years ago. If you yeah, go on that was very recent, and you check out, you know, do the Google search of mm-hmm. uh, cases dismissed with Drake Bell. All of the cases got dismissed, by the way. Oh. But it was almost targeted as if they were trying to set him up to be the uh, uh, the assaulter, the mm-hmm. way that he was assaulted. And it led me to think, all right, who is pulling these strings? Who is making these calls? Why are they trying to derail, defame, make Drake Bell? Because there was a while where Drake Bell was looking crazy but, in the media. I don't know yeah. if I'm going to remember. with you, though. I don't know that to be true or not, but her people, her people. And I'm not putting this on yeah. Drake it's Bell. A, it's a cycle. It's yeah, a cycle. I'm not putting mm-hmm. that on Drake, but... His cases were dismissed. I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, there was some no of his proof. behaviors might have. No, I, I agree. I, but the, I know the, the lewd behavior. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It influenced, like, because of what he went through. Like, For sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. And and I, I want to give him his credit, right? Yeah. So there was um, an article that came out, and there was a case that uh, was against him where basically they said he was trying to speak to a minor, somebody who was underage, mm-hmm. um, which I believe was true. He was talking to somebody who was young, but he didn't know at the time. And as soon as he found out, he cut that. Mm-hmm. person off i guess they were just whatever um and the proof came out that that's exactly what happened like hey look i didn't know you was this age i'm i'm off you right mm-hmm. but nobody reports when the cases get dismissed or when somebody's like hey like i didn't know i fucked up i'm out of here yeah there's no yeah. way to take the stain off of your name at all. yeah it doesn't really take the stain so a few years ago it seemed like there was propaganda against drake bell yeah, just to like shut him up just to yeah. shut him up or or discredit him right again going back to like the orlando browns i don't know how true any of the shit that he says but it makes me look at some of the things that he says and some of the people that he claims assaulted him or he had sexual relations I with and did shit. like there's a lot to kind of look into because he's yeah. been in this space since what we saw him on the 90s and the yeah. jamie fox show with right. martin and mm-hmm. all this shit i believe crazy niggas i'm from the hood <laughs> people what, what people don't understand about crazy people is they're speaking from a perspective of truth their mind has just been muddied over the years maybe through substance abuse or traumatic situations as to where when you're speaking to somebody normal yeah it sounds like gibberish. Yeah. I believe all them crazy motherfuckers. You right? believe he got the Ushka, give me the ba ba blue, the ba ba blue, you see what you got, Koshkwash? All of it. Koshka. Koshka. Boom! With the Ariel. That nigga turned into a jazz scatter. Koshka. I believe every fucking word. They want Loki good at this type of shit. Yeah. Like the Yabba Dabba dude. Gibberish? Yabba Dabba shit. Like he's Loki good at it. My brain is scrambled like that. I feel like there's a reason why, like, the ster- the child star stereotype, how they all grow up fucked up. Yeah, it's really sad because it, like there's a reason why that's a stereotype because yeah. of everything that they go-, they go through. Like if you make it out alive, like and just normal, like shout out to yeah. Hilary Duff, my favorite. Right. Like Hillary she's Duff, the yeah. rare one. Like mm-hmm. she's the poster child, and then everybody else is like fucked yeah. up. This but look went- at what they've been through since they were like five. Like rest in peace, Aaron Carter. Oh my God, stop. Yeah. Oh my God, legit. Yeah, like I saw him in a the documentary. They had him like on the red carpet, and I'm thinking to myself, like, "Holy shit, he's not here anymore." Mm-hmm. I remember when he was doing the videos with Shaq, and yeah. he mm-hmm. was one of those kids, and um, all of that. that he was whole just era. a Justin, preteen, Justin like Bieber. Yeah, because when when Justin came out, he was very vibrant. You know, now when vibrant. He, and then they now we not doing no down. Justin Bieber. We not doing no Justin hey. Bieber slander. No, 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 Don't even put Justin's name with these niggas. I'm just pointing out fact. That's my man. Justin went through a lot of stuff. You ain't see the video. You ain't see the video of Puff. Shoot that shabu blah blah. You ain't see the block. Ask wash, nigga. Fuck out of here. Me, I'm Africa. I can't talk like this. You didn't see the you didn't see the video of him and Puff in the studio. Puff said, "Look crazy." Puff said, "Yo, JB, you ain't been calling me, baby boy." JB said. Mm, uh, mm, huh? Uh, mm. Like uncomfortable. Like how I be saying, mm, mm. <laughs> and it goes like, mm, huh? No, you know, we we just been busy. <laughs> Look, I don't. I also know he had a health condition that's been dealing with uh, recently. Mm-hmm. So again, I don't know really mm-hmm. what's going on in his day to day, but I wouldn't be surprised, man, if, if JB. Nah, 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 nah. We're not man. putting that out there. Man. I'm not putting what it what out mean? there either. No, just, I just wouldn't be surprised. Man. He was in no, my no, top. No, they're not slandering Music and shit. I feel you. 
It'd be like that. Your no, but no one is slandering Justin Bieber. We're <laughs> yeah, saying we're that slandering. like he's been through a lot since oh, a yeah. young age, and that's why he's you know going through his troubles right oh, now. That baby, I don't baby, like baby, talk- baby, baby. You did not come with nothing. I don't like <laughs> talking about Orlando Brown and then going straight to Justin Bieber. Why not? They're not the same. Child stars. Brown. But like, I don't like that. Child shit, stars. You know what we're trying to say. You just play favorites, but they're both child stars. Nah, it's not favorites. Justin Bieber has never said, "Hey, I got butt fucked." I mean, so we didn't I don't say wanna, they're the same. Wanna, that's what Orlando Brown was saying. I don't want to put that next to Justin Bieber. That's what I'm saying. Talking that's about. my man. <laughs> you making it? Like yeah, that. I didn't say that. Yeah, I just <laughs> yeah. said child stars. Y'all talk about Diddy and shit. You put JV with Diddy off the butt. You, my nigga, you, like, come you, on, you but they was there. But they was there. That nigga made some heat last year, bro. <laughs> you want to see the files? Shit. You want me to send you the files? I'm fucking. Nah, you want to show you the video? That niggas hurt my soul. It's bad enough. I like my nigga Drake going through this shit. So you fake shit because you was mad when when Usher was sharing honey. Not Cheerios with Puff. Right. Now, now you, you don't got no words for JB and Puff, right? Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Shit, okay. crazy. It's not right. Yeah. It's mm. cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I ain't gonna say it. Yeah, just super so Shout out to the beeps, Beepster, though. But, yeah, but I just want to yeah. say, like, another thing. I don't know if they mentioned this a lot in the doc, but yeah. what I kept thinking about was like the weird and just sick pressure that these kids feel um being like the the main income source for their families mm. at such a young age. Like I cannot imagine how psychologically damaging that is because now your parents are like basically like, this is like a harsh word for it, but they're like pimping you out mm-hmm. to these executives. And a lot of the times they can't even control their own money when they get older. So it's just like a vicious cycle. Yeah. And like, even like, even little things, not little things, but even if your parents, you grow up and they like neglect you a little bit or don't give you positive reinforcement, you see how much that fucks up people mm-hmm. when they get older. Yeah. So imagine how much that fucks up these child stars being worked to death at age eight. Like, I, I, can't I just cannot stop thinking about that. Like, now you're right. Being the breadwinner for their families at such a young age. Yeah. I see why sometimes like your baby moms is your biggest op. Yeah, what? like I get it. You relate to a lot of nah, fellas out there, it, bro. Like, <laughs> because I, Drake's dad was told his mother, yes, he do was not right. leave him. Mm-hmm. Do not leave my son mm-hmm. with this man. Mm-hmm. And however it happened, happened, it it did. And so, like you said, going back to the parents, like we have to hold a lot of parties responsible and accountable. And mm-hmm. I don't know what the, the the punishment or how you would be reprimanded for anything, mm-hmm. but you do play a role because as a parent, your child is, uh, your, your, your job is to protect yeah. your child. So if you almost fed these children to predators because you trust the dialogue coach, who the fuck needs a dialogue coach? Nigga, like, I don't need to be at his house. Nah. I don't need extra help with okay, my I, I, agree nah. with that. I don't need to be that. at his house. I'm, I agree with that. I, like, I don't why? need to be yes. having birthday parties at Peter Pecker's house. I agree nigga. with that part. I agree with that and, part. And I feel it. And but. Dan Schneider was in a hot tub with Amanda. Like, that's not all no. All like, no, let's draw the line somewhere, bro. Like, I actually I, remember that episode. That's, too. But that, that uh, and I hate, like, that's on camera. Right, yeah. uh, that's on camera. It's nasty. Yeah. At the time, again, even as consumers, we we saw this playful or whatever. You're not really thinking that deep into it. I think somebody on set maybe should have said, "Hey, this doesn't feel right." But even when they did, they got <coughs> mm-hmm. kicked out or or they were exiled, so yeah. to speak. Mm-hmm. Right? Right, right. I'm talking about when Drake's dad told his mother, mm-hmm. "Hey." You, I'm gonna give you everything. I'm gonna give you the bank accounts. I'm gonna give you the the pat the keys to his castle. I'm gonna give it up because y'all don't want me to be his manager. It hurts, but here you go. This is what I need you to do. Damn. No one I listened. need you to not leave this man around our son. Yeah, that's what I need you to do. It hurts me that I'm no, I'm being removed from my son's life in this capacity mm-hmm. because I love him and I want to protect him. But since he no longer wants me, because he's old enough to make this decision now. Mm-hmm. This, like he said, we're he not five years old, right? Mm-hmm. He's old enough to make these decisions now. And so the only thing that I need from you is to make sure he is safe. And the mom, as soon as she found out, she did what she was supposed to do, right? She mm-hmm. got the police involved. Yeah, um, she did. You know, they did the investigation. She did exactly, like, she responded in the best possible way. But I think you do have to be held him. accountable mm-hmm. for not being proactive, being reactive. Mm-hmm. Don't be reactive with my son. Mm-hmm. Now I feel you, man. It's just different. I don't know. It's, it's tough. It's tough. I don't, I don't want to put uh, blame on anyone because I don't think any one of those parents would agree that they would want have that to happen to Absolutely their child. Absolutely not. Right? I agree. I agree. Yeah, but so you got to be responsible. You definitely got to be Somebody re- has to be held for, accountable for this. For sure. And I'm not mad at that. I will say there is a dynamic between uh, two people who aren't together anymore. And a lot of the time, you don't want to listen to anything they're saying. You think they're crazy. You, and that's a bad reason. That's a, no, it's a bad reason. It's you a mean, bad you reason. Mean from the standpoint of the child. No, no, from the standpoint the of parents. the of the parent. Okay, right. Like when you when the two of you split, you probably have y'all qualms with each other. 
things y'all probably really hate with that person. Again, this is not a, a, a life a, a life coat here. But I could very well see her being like, yeah, all right, cool. Like Drake hasn't told me anything, you know. I I, I don't. But that's the thing. I, yeah. uh, regardless of where we stand, yeah. And again, we're we're talking about imaginary scenarios because none of us yeah. have kids, none of us have baby moms, baby fathers, nothing like that. Mm. But no, regardless of how you feel about me, how I feel about you, our job is to protect this this person right here, mm-hmm. man, mm-hmm. That's fair. Wolf, like girl, boy, whoever it is. Yeah. That's our job. And and he said, I told her this, mm-hmm. right? Like he made it. He didn't imply it. He didn't suggest. Totally. He didn't say, hey, I think. He said, no, do not leave this guy yeah. with my son. But you know what? I'll get that to you because I do remember her saying she didn't feel like driving. Yeah, her from to Hollywood. San Diego, yeah, from, to Hollywood mm-hmm. or wherever she yeah, was from. So you, so, yeah, it, for sure. And, and you literally yeah. served your son up on a platter. Because it was easier. You mm-hmm. served yeah, 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 up yeah, the golden that. child of Nickelodeon. The one, the one. And that's what really makes these people sick. Like, they go after the ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get them like mm-hmm. I'm going after the the face of our network because I feel like I have so much power where he won't say anything yeah. where he know he may lose everything and I know what I have like there was another part where when they entered the courtroom he said hey this guy had so much support on his side oh, yeah. and it was just me my brother and my mom oh, like when, terrifying when, when referencing shit. Brian Peck right when referencing Brian Peck right, right, right. so imagine the psychological warfare that was an actual visual representation of what you felt right. but think about when how you, you when felt you when up. you go home mm-hmm. you know so yeah. like I think there needs to be some type of accountability. Like when we talk yeah. about the R. Kellys and shit, whoever's parents allowed their daughters to go, you know, chase a dream or mm-hmm. be sold a dream. Mm-hmm. Like you got to be held accountable. Like we have mm-hmm. to come up with some kind of that. system in place where it's like, all right, fam. Yes, there is negligence. Some things you can't avoid yeah. and, and and things happen in life, unfortunately. But if you are, uh, what's the word? Complicit. Mm-hmm. Right mm-hmm. in the matter, like you, I, we got to talk. You got to sit down. You got to do something. Go take a class. Yeah. Go get fined. I don't give a fuck. Something. Don't have no more kids. Get your tubes out. I don't fucking know. Yeah, like, yeah. But I something has to get done. Nah, yeah. I definitely. Because this happened on your watch. Yeah. So, and mean, like also like the reason why not the reason but um a little bit more context is like uh Drake Bell's mom trusted Brian so much and so did all these parents and this reminds me of did you guys see the, like this new documentary of Dennis Rodman and like his finances and how he wanted to mad yet. debt so like summary is like there was this financial like manager that he had this Dude. woman but she was such a con artist that she got everybody to trust her she really became like everybody's like godmother like Mm -hmm. just really got everyone to trust her so that reminds me of this situation because it's like everyone trusted brian the mom trusted him that's why she let him drive home with him like every night Mm -hmm. so it's just like very everything like hindsight is 2020 but still i agree with more with savon no matter how much i hate my ex-husband no matter how much i want my kid to chase a dream i still have to protect my child for sure no matter how much i trust brian like no and that's the common that should be the common thread between the parents yeah always be cautious but like you said there is it's it's some pimping hoe shit like i'm pimping i'm literally pimping out my kid because my kid is probably keeping the lights on i don't have to work mm-hmm. because my kid is with the dialogue mm-hmm. coach for <laughs> 8 hours a day shit on a crazy. saturday taking so, you to disneyland and yeah, shit yeah offering you opportunities your yeah. own show your own spin off those kind of things like so it is it is a compromising position but like we spoke about um the the earlier kid the young black kid what was his name again brian brian, brian. like talking about brian like yeah. sometimes you know I think his mom was a perfect example of what should be done. Like, all right, if it comes at the expense of my kid having to lose this opportunity or uh, me having to go back to work a nine to five, or he might be a little upset, it might fuck up our relationship. But I know what I see. I know what I feel. And this is a part of me being a parent. I have to protect you. I have to shelter you. Because um, even Brian said, like, yo, I wasn't prepared I wasn't prepared and no most people aren't prepared like as talented as we saw Amanda to be as personality uh, as much personality as she's had all of those things it speaks to like oh she's mature right because she can hold a conversation because she can you know she has crowd control she has all of these things going for her you may look and say oh she's a really defined young young girl mm. young person in this world but mentally she's still not going to be able to defend herself against predators Right, like nobody's right. equipped for that. No matter how talented you are, Nobody. at whatever age. So, as a parent, right? At what age do you think, or when do you think a parent should like start to prepare the child who's in stardom? It's like, hey, uh, if you notice anything that's kind of off, or if you, if you feel um, not right about something, like let me know. Like, at, at what point should a parent say that? To I feel I like, like I don't like that question. 
because uh, none of us have kids. No, no, no. But no, no I think it's a very easy question them. to yeah. answer. I feel like even if my gr- my baby girl is like four years old, three years old, as mm-hmm. lo- as, so- as long as as soon as she knows how to understand sentences, I'm telling her like stranger danger. Mm-hmm. If you feel uncomfortable, tell mommy. Like that's a very easy question to answer. Yeah. Like it doesn't. They don't have to be 18. They don't have to be older. Like mm-hmm. I feel like like it's a very easy. It's a very um like a thing you should teach early on to all your kids like if you feel comfortable if you feel like you know inappropriate just tell mommy or daddy like i would even i would even kind of go deeper than that like i saw this dope video one time while i watched the video maybe it might have been when i was in college i don't remember but the man explicitly told his daughter nobody touches you here and he pointed yes like they like yeah. nobody yep. nobody not mommy don't be scared to say daddy, shit like that like, right like I don't, I don't even want to give it a gray area of saying if you feel uncomfortable because they may not know what uncomfortable is mm-hmm. but like you may have to really spell that shit out like these parts of your body no good nobody should bad, ever bad. touch and if they do you should come tell me mommy shouldn't touch it and daddy should nobody mm-hmm. touches bad, that you know bad. what i'm saying like no, no. we we gotta have like real conversations <laughs> yeah. I feel like because you kind of leave it, you you leave it up to their discretion, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. maybe they aren't equipped to be like, well, I well this was inappropriate yeah, beca- <laughs> beca- because yeah. the, you know the thing with these predators, they make you feel comfortable, yeah, exactly. Right? That's so like that's why you see all the touching and the video recordings and all this stuff. They make you feel comfortable. So even if they do something mm-hmm. that makes you feel uncomfortable, it's like, oh no, I'm comfortable with this person. So. It's an exception, right? Maybe in their head. Until and, and so, exactly. So mm-hmm. I think like we we gotta have, or I would like to when when my time comes, when I am a parent, yeah. it's like, no, this is what we gotta do. Like nobody touches you here, nobody touches you there. If they do, you come tell me. Yes. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You and come tell like your mom. Sec- that's not like sexualizing child, that's just being realistic and being um like preventative. Yeah. Because the unfortunately we're not with our kids. We're not gonna we're not with our kids 24-7, right? Like when they right. go out to the real world, when they go to nursery for like nursery, you're fucking three years old. Crazy. Two years old, Very right? Young. Like so Very I'm not young. even with you in your most infancy stages. So you you kind of have to kind of plant those seeds. I I believe, and I, I like the the fact that it seems like it seems it appears that the child star era has kind of faded. Like I don't see too many child stars today. I don't know what it's like. Yeah. Um. But I don't see like the last the one I wave. remember. Last one I remember is uh JoJo Siwa. Oh <laughs> and I don't know who that is though. <laughs> I've just heard my little cousins talk about it. Also, if you're curious, Dan Schneider is responsible for shows like Zoe 101, iCarly. Victorious, uh, Ariana Grande was a part of the show. Victorious. Yeah. Now, granted, the last the Yo. shows I just named to you, I wasn't big on them, but I had little cousins, girl cousins, who were into them. Yeah. And just to see some of the scenes depicted from uh, Ariana, Ariana Grande, Grande in his documentary, yeah. like jerking a potato mm-hmm. and making noises and, and throwing the water on her and throwing the water on her while she's on the bed upside down. Mm-hmm. I was, don't even know if you caught lot. if you caught the, the the the. It was a real quick snapshot. Of when the guys had the water guns and she was in the circle and they were squirting her Crazy. with the water guns. Crazy. Or or um, that's a cr- that's silly. or the, or the young lady that was the co-star on the Zoe One on One show, and uh, she heard the crew snickering. <laughs> it's a cum shot. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's a cum shot. She's young. She didn't know what it meant at the time. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. yeah, man. I think I should definitely go check it out. Since the um, the documentary's been released, Dan Schneider's done an interview uh, stating that he owes certain people. An apology. So he goes. They go into a plethora of topics. It's a twenty-minute interview. You can find it on YouTube. And I think it's his best version of trying to be remorseful. He even <laughs> breaks down and cries in the middle of it. So uh, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna check that out on my way home. Yeah. Um, I did watch like the first few minutes of it. Um, y'all, y'all said y'all had some background on the guy, the the interviewer, right? He was someone. He used to be on, on the show. I Carly. I Carly show. He was the bagel on a stick guy. Yes. <laughs> Got it. So yeah. he even has some kind of relation there with, with Dan, him. yeah. Um, in some regard, and maybe that's why Dan decided to, to sit him. down with him yeah. to do this interview. I'm I'm gonna watch it and dissect it a little bit more to form a better opinion on it. But what I will say is, I'm 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 ashamed. I'm ashamed to admit this right now. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. What's the problem? Seatbelts on. If you driving your car, make sure it's tight. <laughs> Close your eyes. Open no. your eyes. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> Open your eyes. Dan Schneider is a Capricorn. 
Oh my! Why do you? You know what? Ha- you didn't uh, have to say that. No, but you could have like we, no. We, none we, of us it, were gonna bring it up. Just, yeah, yeah, I, no, you have to take the good Capricorns. and the bad, and that's just what it is. So you have I, Dan I, Schneider I, and R. Kelly as Capricorns. Wow. Oh sick! Damn. That's sick. All you I, bring this up every time, not that's me. Sick. Damn. I didn't damn. even. That's I, sick. Yeah. I, I and I only <laughs> noticed that. No, because bro, if we're gonna talk, let's talk. Okay, like, I can't pick right. up you all, the great, all, the great, all the great Capricorns. I can't like champion nah, them. It gotta be even. And then, yeah, I gotta be honest. I gotta like, yeah. come on. That's like, I'll be honest. Me and Bill Belichick share the same birthday. Don't like, come on. Yeah, it's this not fire. Said the greatest Stop coach of all time in football. Like Shut eight, the fuck up, like bro. Like, come on. You think I like his attitude, bro? You just said, <laughs> oh the, my literally, gosh. Reggie. I think I, he I think is I like his the attitude. Michael Jordan of okay. football coaches. Yeah, why'd you say it like that, Alex? You mean the guy that threw Tom Brady under the uh, the bus anyway, during anyway. the flake game? That's not that bad. Whatever. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> you mean the guy that got rid of? You know the quarterback that came there before Tom Brady. Yeah. Nigga Drew, Bledsoe. Drew Bledsoe. <laughs> yeah, Bledsoe. Bro, we are comparing. Huh? We're not comparing Whoa, Bill cool Belichick name. to R. Mm-hmm. Oh, ah, right, right, you nigga. right. Come on. Nah, that's Come true. On. Shout but, out to Bill. Uh, I noticed because. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Bill. Shout out to Bill. Um, I noticed because. And no, I, I didn't look it up. Oh. Well, I did look it up to confirm it, but I saw in one of the episodes, um, it was his birthday. And he was blowing out candles. And you know, the old camcorders, they have the dates yes, and the times. Oh my God. When it was you would notice this. It was, Jan- it was my birthday. What? Y'all should have the same <laughs> birthday. <laughs> Which is why I noticed. Because I'm like, oh, January 14th, 1995. Damn, nigga, I was one. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, wait. You related to it. Oh, he's blowing out candles oh on this video. God. Damn. So shit. I went to confirm. That's crazy. I'm like, wait, maybe his shit was on the 13th. Yeah, they <laughs> and they just celebrated it on the 14th because no? he happened to be on set. <laughs> I look for a loophole. But nah, he <laughs> is, is Dan Schneider, it's Elliot Wilson, yeah. it's okay. you January L- Capricorn. L- L- cool J and L- it's me. Up. Like it's some it's some <laughs> shit happening. It's a balance. Um but <laughs> when I when I watched his apology and when I listened to him and I, I saw that it gave me the R. Kelly situation. It gave me that, that arc? same type of defense. Oh, okay. Right? Uh-huh. You almost try to victimize yourself. And it, it, oh, it reminded me of when I got caught cheating. This, <laughs> no, you wasn't you wasn't peeing on nobody. No, you I wasn't just cheating said, like, what like you that. Mean by this, yeah, you wasn't yeah. cheating like Explain. that. You wasn't cheating like I that. I would always try to get the sympathy. I would always oh, try to be the victim. Oh my Yo, goodness. My bad. Like, Why are you the fake telling tears. on yourself right now? It's good. He's like, I do the fake tears part. I did. I don't do. Oh my god. I'll never cry. You used to do that? Oh, you saw yourself. You used to do, used to do the fake tears? Nah, I did that shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I did that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Hold on, I did that shit. Walk out what the house, wipe them. Anyway, uh, nah. time to go get pizza. Uh, one time, one time, one time I, I couldn't force the tears, so I took my allergy eye drops and shot them in my eye when You're she lying. wasn't looking. You're and lying. I away, yeah. And I looked at dead in her face with mad tears. Like, You're lying. Cleon is lying. There's got, no way. Bro, what the fuck? This so guy's, you did crazy. I did that before. So you did crazy, huh? You yeah. toxic you did crazy, motherfucker. Yeah. Chai. I did that. I was squirted the eye drops to try to make my. I only did it one time. Okay. I only had the presence of mind yeah, to do it once. Sick. Why are you so dramatic, bro? Because I couldn't call that man? day. Why? But why are you so dramatic? I like I was like, damn, I got cheated for the 18th time. <laughs> you are so crazy. Time. Stop damn, saying this on the nah, pod. That's, that's the time when you really got to act remorseful. Like <laughs> that's the, when it really hurt. <laughs> the first like, two, you was acting a little gangster. <laughs> you're like, damn. You're like, really she'll about, get over it. She'll get over it. That third, fourth, 18th time. Damn. You're going to get the waterworks. Third, fourth, 18th. I cried all my tears. Nigga, I had the force. I got the visine. Start squirting my shit. My eye was red as hell and it then it was sick. white as hell because she was like wait why your shit so i was like nah son, i can't even look at you right now <laughs> oh I can't my god you right now, so, yo, you are shit really son. fucking me up but nah so i i saw some of that dramatic oh effect god. stop comparing yourself to dan schneider my I'm friend not, please, i'm not please, letting him do this please, please, you know you literally the sentence before i spoke you literally said i saw some of that you know when i watched dan's tendencies video. and i was talking about r kelly shit <laughs> that, Just, that makes it so much that, better that, that, no, the victim, y'all don't get what I'm saying. I'm talking though. about the victim uh, stuff, right? Like yeah. wanting to be a victim. Like the fake apologies? Yeah, the fake, like, okay. trying to be... Oh, so that's your bag. bag. I'm not putting my bag with these <laughs> nah, bags. Wow. That's your bag. I'm Capricorn, not putting that's your bags with that bag. My bag is January Capricorns. Bag. We are some of the sickest niggas in the world. <laughs> honestly. Well, clearly. And successful. Yes, that is true. <laughs> oh, and, I mean, that is so true. Fuck. And, and <laughs> uh, again, like, I don't know how many people are invested in, like, Zodiac signs and shit, but then knowing well, once I realized, because I think they might have showed his birthday in maybe the first or second episode. So once I, I put that th- t- together, it just made me really think about just the history of 
these zodiac signs and how they move yeah. and seeing him having so much power like his thirst for power mm -hmm. and control and mm. you know like i was like oh and actually uh, achieving it yeah like, like yeah. It, it's it's, it's and a sick no, story. Let, let's not forget he lied too he said he went to harvard uh, what the fuck scam artist uh, initially. He just, oh, his pops Jesus. went to harvard he yeah. was saying he went to harvard and then they everybody Niggas. believed him yeah yeah no it, it, it's a very well done documentary i yeah, personally is. believe that documentaries are the greatest form of tv and film like greatest yeah. thing to watch Facts. it's making like, me, documentaries are actually making me a more efficient person yeah it's sort of, yeah. It's sort of, lot, yeah. It's sort of yeah. like when you uh you have the munchies for something but you swap the snacks out for fruit for something mm -hmm. healthy or for something oh, healthy right and that's what it's been for good me analogy. Now, right so it's like if i have someone in the background I'm at, like right now i'm watching um this is on netflix it's talking about the cold war and just the origins of how it really started mm -hmm. i know this sounds really fucking boring y'all out there no it's nah, actually sounds range. interesting you like, are you, you on that yeah i do have range I, I can't just be like a hood nigga mentality like it's, it's expanding sometimes my brain. you gotta grow out of the dirt you know what i mean you know i'm actually really where intelligent you was from, it was dirty right Yo, you watch your fucking mouth you nah, watch your sad. i'm just trying to you watch sure your i'll I'm show you something i just want to make sure people you know watch your sad. you came from like you watch your sad. You know i mean the real mud show your mouth <laughs> show your dirty mouth <laughs> Real much. Anyway, yeah, the documentary. Uh, sorry, sorry, I got out of character just now. Sorry about that. Yes, uh, yeah. Tell us about the Cold War. Yeah, it's, customer it's, service voice. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, hello, how are you? <laughs> but it's just super dope because I'm just learning, relearning a lot of the stuff that I probably didn't pay attention to when I was right. in and social now you're like, studies. This, this shit is cool. When, yeah, when I was in high school and shit. Like, mm -hmm. it, it's dope. Documentaries are super cool. Mm -hmm. Well, love then it. there's me who only watches Love is Blind marathons. That. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. okay. I got, I got hope. But it's okay. Too. I'm still a smart girl, so whatever. No, but, it's not Love is Blind, it's Love is First Sight. Don't let them lie to you. Yo, Stop. That's a little insider joke <laughs> for you guys. Yo, Pierre texts in the group chat, did y'all see love at first sight? And we're like, you mean like, nigga, what's that? <laughs> it was actually on the pod. <laughs> <laughs> but damn. Sight, Although I do yeah. think people should watch this because of like, for awareness purposes, for sure. it is not an easy watch. Like I didn't it's find not. it like entertaining. I, I literally had to fight to get through it. It really hurt. I had but... to smoke five times. It hurts. I had to roll up protect five the times. Protect, protect the babies. <laughs> I have to roll up mad times. For the first time. Like fuck, I'm stressed, bro. <laughs> I feel like there's certain things that you want to watch with somebody, like with your your significant other. Yeah. I feel like this is one of those things where it's like, nah, I'm gonna just watch this by myself. Yeah. Like in yeah. the dark. I yeah, I'm gonna just I'm, I'm gonna keep, <laughs> because you also don't know, like you don't know what's gonna trigger anyone. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, it is a tough watch, but I think it's a great watch. Yeah, um I agree. If, if you're interested. And also just that time period, like um my 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 supervisor at, at work, he actually said something today that made me realize, like, oh shit, we really are stepping into that next generation when you see people like a Usher get on the Super Bowl, right? Like 10 years ago, 20 years ago, maybe he doesn't get well, he clearly didn't get those type of looks, but now our the current legacy acts are like our era yeah right so when you see these type of documentaries like my little sister she's never going to understand the impact of a drake bell she's mm, never going to understand the impact so of fun. hannah montana or none none of those figures that we kind of she wasn't watching that she might have maybe yeah, got hannah like, montana but yeah, yeah. but even like, again going back to drake and then going back to the the cast of all that yeah right all Kenny every Cal. amanda amanda Bynes, like amanda Bynes was like the first miley cyrus to me I, feel like, you. I remember watching the amanda yeah, she show came before, and shit. Yeah, i remember yeah. the two and all that amanda 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 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like it was a thing so <laughs> thank you for that beer <laughs> <laughs> we need that just a little you know what i mean i've never Pretty heard cool. that song before <laughs> <laughs> as we're like growing in, in, in all that shit like it's kind of crazy to see the generations just kind of moving we're in that phase where now the documentaries that are coming out is going to be from our time yeah, yeah. our like, upbringing the things yeah. that we lived through and it's like holy oh. shit I, like i remember seeing this pickle nigga's face <laughs> and i'm mad that i recognize him and to know he was doing all of this shit yeah. and it was right there and nobody said anything Crazy. like the fact that he actually got another job at disney channel he was, and that's what i'm like i'm sorry to no, cut you off okay, yeah. but that's like where are the checks and balances because bro if you are a convicted child molester how the fuck do you get back on a set a in question. any capacity so it's be a sexual offender by any him. capacity but like disney like who did this yeah he was uh he, he was he was living in plain sight you know they spoke about how one of his idols and this is what we need to talk about we can wrap up this conversation you got to watch people when they speak one of his idols was william gacy if you don't know who william gacy is he is known as the clown killer <laughs> he used to be a clown and commit 
a ton of murders <laughs> when the night when night uh nighttime came. So uh young boys and young children he targeted, right? Yeah, young, young boys, boys and, and young men. children. Yeah, yeah young men. And he would talk to other people about his fandom for him. Like people would come over to Brian Peck's house and he'd be like, Yeah, you know, he signed this and he had like a pen pal sort of relationship with him. And no one batted their eye. It was John Wayne Gacy, by the way. John, I'm sorry. Yes, John Wayne Gacy. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. It's, not, it's, yeah. it's like the Pied Piper. Yeah, right in our faces. Right like, they, they be playing in our face for real. I ain't, and, that's and, not my fault, though. I ain't have Google back then. I ain't know what the Pied Piper meant. <laughs> but we ain't know what any of we didn't know. Yeah. We didn't know the pickle man was yeah. holding pickles because he wanted pickles. <laughs> like, we didn't know this shit. Just. And it's right in front of our face, bro. So, yeah, but I, I think if you got some time, if you get some time, if you're interested. Um, for the 90s it, babies. Yeah, for sure. Definitely the 90s babies. Um, I think it was a, a very well produced documentary as well. And I, I do want to send like thoughts and prayers to anybody who've gone through that because yeah. there are going to be people who watch this um, or even listen to this podcast who maybe didn't have any intentions on watching the show because it does trigger them. So I do want to send like our uh, thoughts um, to those folks because this shit is that that shit is traumatic. It's like he, he was on top of the world and he can't even remember because of some yeah. of the things that this guy was doing to him. That's and, what happens. You block that shit out because it hurts so much. That's probably how Amber Rose feel. Why she feel like that? She was on top of the world. Uh-huh. And nobody knew. She wasn't on top of the world. She was on top of the world at a point. She wasn't on top of the world. What? Are you kidding me? She was one of those women that we looked at and was like, oh my God, she's beautiful. Not for talent, though. Drake was for oh, talent. Oh, see, see, you do that thing. I'm just talking about impact. <laughs> she was just on top I, of the world. I don't know what she's talented for. No, she probably do got some talent. <laughs> yeah, she's been around for a while, yeah, Savon. Yeah. I wouldn't take that from her. Who is the ta- the most talented, though, in that, in that world? Superhead. Like, Drake. She might be the most talented. Thing, I ain't gonna lie. Corinne Stephens. <coughs> I feel like. Nah, I think Trump. Savon's might got question her. was for one group, and then Alex answered with another. Group. Yeah, you did. You definitely took it oh, somewhere else. So I was, just, oh, shit, I was keeping it with like. Oh shit, my fault. The my PG fault. version. Oh like, shit, the PG my fault. Nah, I was keeping the PG too. Nah, you kept my it. Fault. You kept it. PG too. Good call yeah. out, Reg. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, thank you. Yeah, you <laughs> def- because we uh, was about to blur the lines because I, I got confused. Corinne Stephens. You familiar with her work? You seen her work? Not personally. Nah. <laughs> not personally. <laughs> you should have said, oh, never mind. <laughs> not personally, no. Her yeah. or Tiana Trump? Hmm? Who you going? Who you hmm? pick? I'm a 90s baby, right? <laughs> it's like, okay, we talk If you had to pick, Stop, like, who's, your, who's, your, your, draft? Draft? who's talking, your draft? I don't have a draft. We're talking about Amber Rose. Let's draft. I don't have a draft. I want to draft with you, nigga. <laughs> I, no. I want to see what we I do. Don't want to, I don't want you to draft with me. Oh. <laughs> Let's draft. Yo, Reggie, save me. All right, so. I don't got anybody for the draft for you guys. This is is a boys' conversation. We keeping it outside of like the the, the dick suckers, right? The ones we've seen on camera, because they all clearly suck dick. Yo, this nigga is crazy. If we keeping it like just. This nigga is crazy. I'm listed. I'm listed. That's what happened. Oh, yeah, I talk now. So I just want to know like, is it Amber Rose? Mm -hmm. Is it Drea? Or is it Joey? Joey, I don't oh, know how to oh, pronounce Joy? Name. Joy. That, I said Joey. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't be fucking your name up. You, you got some talents. No, I, I she was collecting uh, Infinity Stones. You yeah, seen that? Yeah, no. It's, uh, Trayvon Diggs, right? She's Tra- having a child with Trayvon Diggs. Wait, who's the ne- oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And she also Bow Wow and, and who else? Future. 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 Oh, sh- that's I'm a lot of guy. That's crazy. I think she the super head of that. Yeah, nah, she got to be. She <laughs> or whatever it. they are, she got it. Nah, she was determined. She 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 studied the game. But Drea might got <laughs> it because she deleted her wholeness and then got it right back. <laughs> like, why did she say that if she was just gonna continue this? Life? She deleted this shit too because everybody was rolling with war. Everybody was rolling it. with it. Like, yeah. But I think she got that thing back. Damn man. Yeah, sad, sad, sad. Super sad. Keeping it w- w- within the 90s, though, did y'all know people hate Jennifer Lopez and Justin Timberlake? Wait. <laughs> wait are, we, are we dubbing Amber Rose? <laughs> oh, I forgot. Yeah, I you didn't see who was trying to bring up a new comic? I didn't know what she was talking about. Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> for sure. That transition? She looking, she looking for $20 million because she, she was amused to Kanye at a point. And uh, she went out on the interview and spoke about it. And I wanted to ask you, yeah, you trying to dodge it. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to talk about? <laughs> all right. <laughs> I think we can all agree maybe 20 because i just the conversation around being amused you brought up all these women right who artists very prominent men in the industry have used as amused before mm-hmm. 
Stop it. Bro. What do you mean stop it? I'm just I'm just what? saying. It's a fact. They they say it all the time. You my muse. They even put it in the song. Kanye does it. All, Kanye publicly Wait, said what it. Wait, what is Savon saying? I don't know what like, You don't like saying. the concept of music? Because why are we about to talk? Like, she don't deserve no 20 million. Bro. All right, cool. But let's say it's not 20 million. Let's talk about, and we can take it off of Amber Rose. Let's talk about a muse. It's funny because I've wanted to talk about this for a while. I don't know how she brought it up. She must be in my notes or something. M- muses <laughs> to be a muse, right? You're usually compensated through your exposure. Yeah. Which she was. Which she was, right? Okay. End of story. No, not end of story. <laughs> I, as a muse, you go through a lot. <laughs> Bro, stop. you making me, like, this what? is giving me the Dylon, Dylon, Dylon conversation. I don't know what like, 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 why, why, like, like, why are you so against muses being paid? <laughs> Can someone, like, what why? Talking about? Can someone be verbally abused? Facts. Okay, cool. Okay. So I can see how a muse could take some sort of um, a verbal abuse from someone who's very prominent mm-hmm. and very rich. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Granted, we could go back. I don't think maybe $20 million is a number. And he probably did do a bunch for her, right? Bought her bags, probably paid for a bunch of clothes, dinner. I'm sure he did that in the tenure of them being together. But I do think if that didn't happen, that compensation <laughs> is... Yeah, for sure. Nah, bro. We got to draw a line somewhere, bro. What do you mean draw a we line? We got to draw a line somewhere, If you're bro. pulling from my likeness, nah, if nah. you're pulling from my likeness to make you who you are, no. I don't deserve anything. That's my, if I so inspired, I date, like, a whole so album. So I shouldn't date? So I shouldn't about? meet people? So I shouldn't have friends? So I shouldn't no. have relations? Oh, no, like, no, no, I'm no, going to no. use what I go through life in my music, no, in no, my no. art, in my creativity. To have a relationship with someone and to make someone your muse is two different things, Avon. <sighs> to make you my muse, I'm subjecting you to... Hey man, without you, you I, I'm pulling everything from you. What I what I'm I inspired, see, how thanks. I'm inspired, how I think. Yeah. What do we? T- what well, do you mean? Well, well, what's the I was like, I don't know if like. What do you mean? I don't think twenty million dollars is a number. Yeah, I don't, I don't think compensation no like to do it like that. I don't think it's a very productive way to to compensate a muse. Like to be like, oh, you owe me twenty dollars for inspiring this album. That's like not. I don't I know like who that. would agree to that. I, don't I like know. that. I don't think there's a dollar amount on it either. I'm just saying. Maybe I just, think she was compensated. I, that's why I led with that. Right, I think she was compensated. I'm sure she went on the greatest of trips. She paid for her rent. Bro, I'm sure this all happened. So for me, I'm all I'm saying is that's compensation. So if that wasn't granted to her, then I could see where she's coming from. I don't agree with $20 million. I don't agree with five, but let's keep it a buck, man. We saw, and you supposed to be Mr. Kim Kardashian over. You supposed to be a Kardashian. You saw what she did after the dick, nigga. What do you mean what she did after the dick? I ain't, ain't see nothing what she did created after the dick. I, no, I don't see what nobody do created after the dick. Created an empire. The Kim, true, Kardashian, that's a good point, the Kim Kardashian come out and say that she felt abused from Kanye. Uh, Just I say don't know, it. I don't know what she said. She I did, don't. bro. She said it over the years. She okay. was crying. That's your homegirl. You know more about her than me. You know this. That's facts. Okay, cool. So that's I'm facts. sure there was a time where she just got so tired of being this dude's muse and... After a point, it probably felt a little bit abusive. What's the definition of it? We gotta Google it. Because you you putting muse with being treated bad and abuse and I, I so said i, I, I clearly wanna, said amuse in a relationship are two different no, things no i know but you're like f- f- the way that you're explaining it to me yeah. is kind of conflating I think what so, he's saying is like what comes with being this huge muse a person or a personified force who is the source of inspiration for a creative artist being the source of your create your creative process can be exhausting it can be daunting okay. it could be for sure so all right now what's the conversation <laughs> around this nigga like all right, fuck no, 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 I'm being serious, year. You're going bro. Year. You're okay. Because I just think people should be calm. If you're you, if you're pulling for me, like that's that's, that's the thing. People are not really spiritual enough, right? It's like, yeah. and I'm not saying that's you, yeah. but we're spirits. <laughs> if you're using like, like my energy, yeah. like energy is yeah. is a big thing. I know we all like, oh, like what are you talking about? Money? So like, what should she? Energy get? is big. What do like, you, what is like? What is what is what is like? What do you? What does she get? Like I, I, I already said my, my my two. You don't think she deserved nothing. I said her compensation should probably be you know paying in the rent, the dinners, the vacations. For how long? Because I'm sure that happened. No, when they were to, really... to whatever they was together. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's what she was saying. I think she was referencing that she never got compensated when they were together. Uh, I'm like, uh, okay. uh, that's a little bit hard to believe. Yeah, I'm not talking about looking for money right now. If you no. will ever take like pictured on a red carpet yeah. with Kanye West squeezing your ass and licking your head. You're a billboard. 
Yeah. What that's a fucking compensation. Time. What a fucking time. That like that's that's your compensation. All right. You just got exposure to the world. You went from nothing. But to, at what and, and let me not say nothing because I know she has like a real story, so I don't want to yeah. like diminish that. She, she hit the but limelight. You you exactly. You went from not being noticed or notable at all to being an actual household name in a business overnight. Yeah, but if my money run out, mm. I got you got to come back for some type of the money can't run out <laughs> because you know what you also got from being my muse. You know what you got from Cache, being my muse. Cash you you got exposed to all of these people who now want to fuck, and not only do they want to fuck, but they also may put a baby in you. But what if she Hence, really... Wiz Khalifa, what and now you're good people... for life. What like, if... stop bringing up my name because it's slow for you. Get nah, slut walk, I feel nigga. that. I don't think she deserves any money right now. I don't know. I just feel like some people. I don't know. Maybe she just maybe the twenty million is like was a bad way to say it. Maybe she just wants like more credit for everything that she has done. She literally inspired a whole album, like it. his best what album. What if some of all people time? don't want to be a, just a sexual object to someone and fuck it, it happened, but now they have to deal with it. Yeah, but what that's, if she that's what I'm saying. Love, like, like you, you just told me about oh now everybody wants to fuck her and everybody was like nigga who cares? Yeah, like want to fuck? That, all right, but cool. What if I'm her though? Like you don't see that did the slut walk yeah. and all that shit. That should probably affect her. Again, it, it, I'm not saying she yeah. deserves money twenty million dollars. I'm just saying when they were together. I mean, when they were together, mm -hmm. she deserved some sort of compensation. She, for I'm sure. Just, again, it just for reminds sure. me of the Dylon story from a few weeks ago. No it's like way. everybody just wants to go back and try to like get something today. Everybody I think hers is justified. I think hers is justified. Like we're not Same. saying 20 million, we're saying compensation some because of, of everything that put her through. And now even you, Savon, you saying like, who cares? They give you exposure. Now everyone wants to fuck you. That's like, not what? like what kind of compensation? That's what you're saying. You just said it. Nah, you just said it. Savon, you're like, now everybody wants to put a baby in you. So what? Like, uh, good for you. Okay. Like, what kind of conversation? Like, no, and now she, she's like, no, like, look at everything I inspired. Can I have some credit, please? Like, that's, that's all, all she's saying. I, like, Amber Rose, you got your credit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, the 20 million is just like, was a very <laughs> bad, like, delivery. Yeah, that was like, bad. Credit. You know what it is? If Facts. Savon got to be in, put in that same situation. I'm exactly. pretty sure if Savon inspired somebody, <laughs> he did something, him. you know, no, that was fire that inspired something no. that was even. Better you would come back and watch because I Capric believe the Capricorn. No, no bro, because absolutely. If we're in a like, let's say I dated somebody <laughs> and then she went on to be the greatest artist, greatest songwriter ever, and I knew all of these scenarios or arguments or whatever experiences that she's putting in her art was inspired by us, by me, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that was our experience. Mm -hmm. That has nothing. Like I don't want nah. anything from that. Nah. You got what you needed from it, I'm, right? It, I'm it down, helped you with your art. I'm down with naturally experiencing things with my spouse. Yeah. I'm talking about the instances where people go, "Yo, I'm an artist. You are my muse." And now, because I told you you are my muse, you now have to be subservient to whatever it is I put you through for me to get to my creative goal. But I think that's I mean, what I'm talking about. I, 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 <laughs> I it's think like, it's tough because we we hear artists talk about like a woman being their muse quite it's often, true. right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a thing. That's, yeah. that's what I to talk about. That's an actual yeah. thing. Yeah. But most cases when somebody is even able to be your muse is because there's some type of intimate connection. Because I'm the artist and I'm able to pull from our mm -hmm. relationship, that doesn't change anything in my opinion. Like if I wasn't an artist, right? We still share that. I'm just in a position where I'm able to pull from my life experiences and put it into my art. What do you deserve from that? You don't just like, I'll give you your credit. Thank you. And whatever comes with it comes, which a lot, uh, uh, she has a very fruitful career because of that relationship. If somebody takes your IP, do you feel like you're entitled to it? It's not, I didn't take your IP. I was inspired by you. No, it's, I the know, definition I, of no, muse. I feel honest. you. I feel you. So let's go with your shit. If someone says, yo, I didn't steal your shit, Savon. I was inspired by your shit. Took your whole IP off of y'all intimate conversations how do you feel that's not what ip is ip is intellectual property i understand but IP what is something i could physically steal physically take from you what if my muse and you read the definition is inspiration to creative creation yes. so my creation could be yo your body became my muse i made skims yo your body became my muse i made all the kanye yeah. shit thank you for inspiring me <laughs> Yo, I, the fuck? I, I do think, think some sort of conversation is Salute. needed. That's what for, I'm saying. Absolutely. And and it's a Salute. really hard that that's Salute. what I'm arguing. It's a really hard thing to quantify. <laughs> it so is. and like no one can like yeah, it's there's because, no rules yet. Like because yeah. my thing is every every experience isn't life, transactional. Like, yeah, yeah. like that's not it's not transactional for me. So if if I if we were in a space where I became your muse or a woman became my muse, and then I went on to do something great inspired by that relationship or that situation, or vice versa. I'm not looking at it like I need something. And if she asks me like, yo, I need something from you because of the inspiration that I got that I from this pop okay, yeah. time in our life, like that's too trans. So 
It would taint how I looked at people and women, my dealings and my relationships. Me personally, it would taint that because now it's transactional. Like every every relationship oh. that I've ever mm -hmm. been in has inspired me in some <laughs> shape, form, or fashion. I, I think I kind of see what you're saying. You're saying, hey, I got you here. Now do something with it. Create your own. Don't what? come to me. Looking no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when I meet somebody and whatever they inspire me to do, you're not entitled to what comes of that inspiration. Mm -hmm. Again. You, you're not listening to a muse and a relationship, two different things. They were I'm in a only, relationship. I know, but he, okay. That's like me and you get into a relationship right now. Right. Mm -hmm. But we won't look at our girlfriend as our muse. We look at her as our girl. Yeah. Okay. I'm talking about the, the artists, the artists, the artists usually all the only ones that do this and they do, they tell you, they, he told us Kim Kardashian was his yeah, muse. Right. I'm talking about those people. Let's say like we, like you <laughs> get a new girlfriend people. and then you start a hey, new, po you start a new um, <laughs> podcast all about her. Like, let's say her name was Stacy. It's like the Stacy podcast. Right. She's like, hello. <laughs> um, it's about me. It's about me. Like, and you stop go, trying to gas my nah, yo, I was just influenced off your energy. You good. Like, so that's different <laughs> from just your girlfriend. OD. She's literally the Stacey podcast she'll be like what the fuck like and it became the number one podcast in the world she is gonna like in 10 years be like yo like i feel like i deserve something from that i'm sorry like uh, i just i hear what y'all saying but i just don't mm -hmm. agree nah, but you know i can't yeah, say yeah, one too because it's like it. now every girl that i have in 10 years is she gonna hit me up like yo you owe me for this he's like no we were just living life yeah, I, like i, I was a vibe i'm sorry i do get what <laughs> they want to say i feel it to an extent i feel it to an extent he goes to artists the kanye it's, amber yeah. rose example is very specific to artists and muse though so i get it yeah. I get it. Like that was an era. Like an artist, someone that identifies. But not as an everybody artist. can do this. Shit. No, no. That's what okay. I want to be clear. Yes, yes. No. I feel like that. Yes. That we made it clear. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, don't don't. Nah. Was like, no. Frustrated. I'm not paying you for inspiring me. <laughs> oh, because like, why are we kicking it? Like, why? Am I, why? Like, why? Why are we? Kicking we can it? kick it, but just don't don't say before we <laughs> kick it. Yo, you know you're my muse, right? So I'm pulling. Uh, no, just kick it with me, and whatever you naturally. That's the type yeah, of I mean, relation like, cool. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, bro. The moment you say I'm your muse, now things it's change. All different, yeah. Put me on payroll. Nah, no, I'm yeah, kidding. I'm kidding. Nah, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like. And again, she maybe was it, on payroll back then. That's why I, I, I trust issues. Issues. <laughs> gotta go That's why I can't be vulnerable. <laughs> gotta get, gotta you see go. what happens when you vulnerable? He's like, they're gonna use me. They're gonna like, come on. You can't even tell nobody like you, my muse. Like you inspired me to this greatness. Oh, get because I inspired you to greatness. Now you want a piece? Like no. I see why it sounds what? ridiculous to Savon. I do see it. I do see why <laughs> Savon's like, what the fuck? Like, bro, this was the <laughs> most fun, greatest relationship of my life. We had the greatest sex. You look good. I to look you. good. I felt good. <laughs> All of this is happening. Oh, it's oh, amazing. Yes. To you. To me. Regardless. To you. But what about the other person in the party? What about the other party? You still experienced it. That don't mean you get what something version? because you didn't what, like what, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's slow it down. Here. This is the problem. You felt that way. You felt like this was the best sex in the world. And the Shorty baby didn't feel that way, bro. So you get a piece of my fucking money because you want to feel the dick? Saying that. Cause you ain't like my dick, I gotta pay. Not <laughs> saying that. that. Make sense? Not saying I'm that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. talking about I'm artists you, and the muse. I'll, I'll I'm be better. better. I'm talking about artists. I'll get and the better. Muse. I'll take fucking hymns and skin, whatever this shit is. What you need me to do, honey? Yo. Honey pack? Yo, honey that's pack? Crazy. That's the way, like, come on. Chill, bro, what are we chill, talking bro. about, bro? Chill, bro chill, you can't pay, tax pay me. Girl, you can't tax me for white dick. Girl, you girl. can't tax me because I'm chill, not bro. giving you what you need. What? <laughs> like, nah, bro. I'm you my muse and that's it, nigga. Now I'm up because of you. Thanks. That's Shout out sick. to you. Go get that's it out sick. the mud. Like, hey, like I, you have to get it out the mud. Go tell these niggas to get out. Like, and she's up. I don't know that. I, I'm bro. I'm not even talking about today. You, I'm talking I'm about when they I'm passionate are passionate about this because <laughs> like, it's like nah, bro. When they were together and he was the artist and she was the muse. Have a, whatever compensation looks like. What like what Reggie said. There needs to be something. You can't just drain all of my fucking energy and be like, oh yeah, nah, fuck it, I'm good now. You yeah. you like no, and then, nigga, and like, no. Appreciate you. Energy is a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, but you don't get paid for energy. Sorry. Says who? You not not always. You I, some people get paid for energy. Yeah. Oh, I can't. I can't say. Hey, but some people that's, get paid. See, that's energy. Capricorn. I need something tangible. I, I feel you. That is very you can be as tangible as you want. Very, like, you, very, like, you, can be as, you can be as tangible as you want. People are still getting paid off the other shit. So I feel you. <laughs> like, that's fine. <laughs> Niggas are still getting paid off the other way. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Salute. Uh, <laughs> it's just a very blurred line, gentlemen. It is. It is hard to gauge it. I'm hard never calling it. a woman my muse. I, me I think that's the solution here. But me either. Right. I'm with you. you yeah. Men, stop fucking we throwing agree. that shit around. We agree. I'm so with you. Just but experience the person. Those be the best vibes. I've never had a muse in my life. Oh. 
Never. I don't think I have either. Some girls listening to us like, oh, what? I want to be his muse. <laughs> I don't think I had a muse. Uh, I've had um, some crutches. Huh? What? <laughs> like, what? Like you lean what? on them like a crutch? Yeah, oh, I'm shit. Crying. That is also toxic. <laughs> Get up, bro. I, I, I had some anchors. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Hell me that. a sailor. <laughs> but I never had a mute. <laughs> Me either. Maybe we don't got enough paper. Woo! We don't got enough paper for a muse. That's why. Um, I, I, do y'all want to go to divorces or y'all want to go to J Lo and Justin Timberlake? What's going on with J Lo and Justin Timberlake? I didn't know people hated them. We were talking, talking about the ninety. Like people Did genuinely they? hate. Justin I know the J Lo slander, but I thought people were gassing up. Yo. Like, didn't, didn't Justin Timberlake just drop his tiny desk? I saw yeah. everyone like gassing it up. Yeah, yeah. before this, it was payola though. I'm joking. I don't know that for sure, but it felt. I like. Forced. I like. It felt Justin Timberlake. It felt. It felt. Uh, yeah. It felt forced. Y'all know I be in Reddit. So maybe <laughs> gotta get out of there. Man. But Reddit's where the real happens. <laughs> gotta get out of there. Yo. Reddit can't. I got. I do like. Hey, everybody report. has their vice. Everybody every, has their vice. Yeah. But no, like people that's your really, news. Yeah. Reddit. Reddit yeah. Is yeah. His inspiration. Yeah. Sick. And it hurts me too. <laughs> They're really mean over there. But no. <laughs> they really mean over there. I didn't know people hated Justin Timberlake. I've known people who hated Ooh. Justin Timberlake since Man in the Woods. Ooh, wait, why? Because of the music or because of what? Let's because because of his I personal a... antics. Janet Jackson. Okay. Man in the Woods album. Nobody people hates thought it for Man in the Woods, bro. I, I think he was already, people were already nigga. tired of him by then, and then he dropped like an album that people didn't like. There you go. Britney Spears. Y- 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 talked about like what he did she talked about him in the book yeah, all that. like people really don't fuck for me Justin what Timberlake. i knew um was when coco jones dropped the news about her icu remix she was like yo guys like i have somebody on the remix you're gonna love it and then people were like oh it's usher 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 but then when she revealed it's justin timberlake everyone was like what the fuck it was quiet <laughs> people spammed her, co- spam her comments like why the fuck did you do this i'm like wait doesn't everybody love justin timberlake i thought so too this generation's token white guy was justin bieber so uh Damn. The kids, the kids have a way. I know I fucked you up. The kids have a way of dictating what's liked and what's popular. Well, they just say he's a really horrible person. Apparently, like, I, w- I on, would know. I, I wouldn't know either. I'm, again, I'm I'm going down. Like I'm reading articles. Oh that, yeah, but, tell yeah. us the reddish shit. Yeah, what they uh, say he did. They, they 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 just don't like the guy. They say he's really not a good guy. He treats his band members really bad, poorly. Um, he stepped on NSYNC to launch his solo career. Mm. Um, hey, but it worked though. Sorry. Those kind of things. It did. It did. It did. It did. Hey, you know what? When you're right, you're right. Got time, but I don't mind. Like that, it worked. I'm sorry. But sorry. yeah, they just, they, the, the Super Bowl thing, that was also a thing. Jenny yeah, Jackson. They didn't like that. They said um, he was cheated on Jessica Biel, a beloved woman. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he was about to say that. About a, to beloved say, woman. a beloved woman. I was gonna say that. Right. That's what I said, right? I like Jessica Biel. Yeah, who doesn't like, like Jessica? Biel. Imagine getting cheated like so. People don't like Justin Timberlake. I didn't. It was just news to me, and then that led me to Jennifer Lopez. Oh yeah, that's if you're from New York, Yo, you know that. Her okay. The past few years, people, especially our generation, has been slandering her. <laughs> the older generation still loves her. They don't but, though. And I'm, oh, really? I'll let you finish, but they don't. But like, the have you guys seen the viral clip of her with crazy hair? She's like, this reminds me of when I was in the Bronx. Yeah. Riding on the train, crazy girl. And everyone is like stitching it on TikTok. Be like, girl, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> so I actually found something from that exact video. <laughs> okay. Of Jennifer Lopez's old classmate. Yeah, I saw this. Oh, I saw this. I saw this. I have just been annoyed in silence since high school. And guess what? I'm a Puerto Rican woman from the Bronx who went to the same high school as you and you're lying. Oh God. I saw your high school photo. You did not have hair like that. And we also both attended an all girls Catholic high school in an Irish and Italian neighborhood. So you weren't running up and down the block. You know damn well you were sitting next to Megan Farley and Christine Marchetti in class. Why are you lying? You're a dork for remembering their names. She's a hater. That's not a hater. You don't remember that your, your classmates' names? That was all hate. That's not hate. That's not hate. That was all. All I felt was hate. Oh, I've been I've been letting her rock. I've been sparing her for all these years. It's like, girl, a, who are you? Who are you? Like, she's not even yeah, thinking she, about you. What are you probably, talking about? She probably could have uh, not led with that, but. The fuck is you talking about? Oh, I, I, yeah, day, but I, I've I, been I, holding on to this nah. all these years. She don't give a fuck about you, homie. What are you talking about? Nah. Yeah, but bro. you can't slander where I'm from and saying everybody that look crazy. Yeah, she's monetized. Like, the she's Bronx was her about, muse. Nah, see, y'all gonna make me see? defend J Lo. The Bronx was her muse. No, y'all gonna make me defend J Lo. Defend, defend it. Girl, defend it. She, this random girl is talking about high school, but Jennifer is talking about the block. 
So yeah. they're not exactly the same things. Just because you knew her in high school does not mean you, you know, know like everything about her. Like, you don't know Jenny from the block. <laughs> she wasn't from the block. That's I don't, the whole I feel thing. Like she, she's I from the Bronx. Like, I don't know where she's from. She, bro, the Bronx. <laughs> but I she do be dragging it. But <laughs> OD. Okay, she be dragging right. it, but she was still we from knew, the Bronx we, on the block. We like, knew J Lo wasn't serving Ace on the block. Like, so then don't talk about the Bronx because you didn't live a thorough what? Bronx experience. That's She's not from true. the Bronx. Okay, now this we're young not. lady, this young lady cannot speak for every time, every place. Uh, J Lo frequents with frequented when she was younger. No, hell no, that was hate. She's that was from, more. Where, hate. where Pierre from? That's where she from. Nah. <laughs> all right, first Massachusetts. She from. First of all, she from where Pierre wherever, from. Wherever you from should be extra. extra anyway, from Jennifer life. Lopez, <laughs> nigga from Massachusetts. It comes off inauthentic. It's like she's trying to be relatable all the time, and uh, like a real representation of the Bronx is Cardi B. Yeah, but that's new. That's new nah, Bronx. Nah, that's the Bronx. That's new Bronx. Nah, that's real. No, Bronx. that's Star Tender Bronx. That's, that's stripper real Bronx. Bronx, bro. Nah, I'm telling you, J Lo. Nah, bro, not, she's, not, she's, that's she's not canceling old her Bronx. tour. That's her not. tour's not selling out. She's going on tour. Yeah. All of her tour dates, like, gone completely. She can't move tickets. She can't sing. Her album sells, but she's still Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> she can't sing. What, I, I, her last movie probably flopped. Maybe I wouldn't even know. Oh, it. she was shooting niggas with uh, Amari Hardwick with <laughs> Ghost. Yeah, I didn't see that shit. No, nah, her and Ghost. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Salute. Ghost Part Two. Yeah, her and Ghost was. She was uh, Angie. <laughs> she Angela she, she Angie. <laughs> <laughs> They just made her the lead. <laughs> I thought people hated her because they realized. Okay, no, this is what we forgot to mention too. People don't like how she treated Ashanti during the. Uh, how she treated Ashanti. That is very valid. During that time, uh, so listen. Uh, she used to. Basically, just rip her songs <laughs> word for word. Ah, but that's what you do when you're from the Bronx. Real Bronx shit. Then, then you go. Then you agree with what I'm saying. Um, also, she can't sing. <laughs> I think people gradually learned that, though. Salute to you, J Lo. You know, you heard her live. Uh, I've heard a performance of her live. I wasn't there, but I was watching what the video. What would you rate it out of ten? Hmm? Vocally. Hmm? <laughs> be you, real. Hmm? You said you said out of ten. Yeah. Hmm? Yes. You said you wanted to be out of ten. Yeah. I bet. What would you rate it? Four. You, oh, damn. Four. Four? Say Four. a little bit louder. Hmm? Four. <laughs> damn. Four. Four is tough. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, that shit was bad. <laughs> Her or Fergie? Oh, I'm taking a voice? Yeah. Fergie can't sing? You didn't you hear didn't the hear national, national anthem? anthem? No. Bruh. You don't what? remember Fergie? Remember the national? Draymond Green meme? <gasps> no. <laughs> I'm going to play it for you. Back, I play bet, it. play it. All right, I, so know, I thought Fergie could sing. You're talking about Fergie, Fergie, Black Eyed Peas, Fergie. Fergalicious. Yes. I'm Fergalicious. Yeah, Fergalicious. Also, just for context, the girl, the, uh, the high school girl that talks shit about J-Lo, she didn't even go to high school with her. She, she went after her. And oh, then she just... No, no, and she just... It gets better, her. Alex. It gets better, Alex. <laughs> Please, she continue. Posted, I just checked her TikTok. She posted on her story. She's like, hey, guys, thanks for spreading my videos, but um, I, I just want to clarify, I went to the high school after J-Lo, and I looked up to her for a very very long time so, you would, so she just wanted the repos whatever oh moving on but we're moving on from she said video. it with confidence so she called she called her up blah. she called up names that were in the class allegedly mm -hmm. that made it seem mad real that was, yeah so why did she do that yeah, like that she was, was just hating that was so loser of you ma <laughs> alex listen up listen up all right bus now nah, we gonna get let to me help real. we gonna get to the yeah real. it gets crazy nah, like that shit was sounding nice just now i was about to say y'all hating y'all hating too <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, give us some more though. Put a little bit more on it. For the land yeah. of the free. Oh, this is this is good. Nah, nah, nah. Good. You just gonna run it back. Oh, y'all hate it too. Y'all keep talking on it. Let our flag walk still there. Terrible. Her, her, she and Keith, just listen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I get that. I see where she was taking it. She sound like Jabba Joe. I see where she was taking it. She just you like see that. I can't but, tell but, if Alex is joking she, or she not right now. But she wasn't out of key. That's what y'all not paying attention her to. She's still in key. Off. Her she, vibrato was Her vibrato off. was a little off, right? She just she was taking us down a little. So rain, you rain, take it, you take it her over over J Lo. Oh, for sure. And the sing off. I heard. What like, about the ass off? I I'm not a freaky demon. <laughs> okay. I don't know what Fergie's ass looks like. <laughs> I have to Retweet. I have to look it up. Retweet. Brb. <laughs> Woo. Retweet. Okay. G. I don't know. But yeah, I, 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 it's just crazy L how but we. Also being that's a great song. Yes, it is. Uh, oh, J Lo don't got a song yeah. better than that. No. I remember. Oh, I saw I saw it live at the Grammy. I mean, uh, no, 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 the VMAs. Can't be fooled by the rocks that I got. 
Um, I'm at the VMA, still, she did it with Jack Harlow. I'm still Jenny from the Block. What glamorous? Mm-hmm. That's fire. Yeah, because you know how he sampled it. Yeah, and oh, then yeah, everyone yeah. was making fun of him, being like, "Fergie don't even like you." And then boom, at the VMAs, they went, out, they came out together, and it was amazing. J Lo like the first IG baddie. Wow, <laughs> she wasn't on IG. She just do a little bit of everything and not really good at nothing. <laughs> but it's like she, nah, for real, bro. Do we think she's a good she actress? Did a, no, I don't know. She has some classic uh, movies though. Like, Yo, but made, no, no, nah, Made in Manhattan. That's that's a good one. What's the shit with um? The question when she was beat up, when she beat up um her husband. The question no. was, was she a good actress? Yeah, does she perform in good movies? Yeah, uh, so overall, you know, Selena, Selena, yeah, that was good. It. Classic, and that's really what she hang her hat on. She's like the IG baddie who posts her ass for the first pick, and then everything else is like covered. <laughs> but, all, but you remember that ass pick? That's that ass. What she nah, did. she was good at Monster in Law. She, I feel Monster like she's a good actress. Oh five, oh five, Monster in Law. That was a good right, scale of one to ten. Hmm? Actress, one to ten. Better than her singing. Actress, I got out of. I had a, well, I had her singing at a four, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Acting at a five. <laughs> That's not good. Never mind. Yeah, he said that. He said that. He said that with a straight face. What? <laughs> all right, all right, I got another question. I got another question. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yo, who's a better actress, uh, J Lo or Beyonce? Hmm. I never seen Beyonce. No. Nah, I don't. You can't do that. Hmm. Beyonce. You can't. Beyonce, yeah. I never seen Beyonce. Act, Beyonce no. was amazing in Dream. Oh, Dream Girl. Yeah, no, nah. she was amazing in Dream Girls. But oh. if you watch Obsessed, the one where she like beats up the white girl, I forgot about it. Oh. I'm sorry. It was not a good movie. Be careful. Right? But was it hard? Was it the you writing? Working music. It was the writing. 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 and shit. I love you, Beyonce. It was mad writing. I love you. I don't know what the writers was doing. That was very corny. That's what they do to the Destiny Child. You see what they did to Kelly Rowland? It's the writing. The It's the writing. It be the writing. We got a little conspiracy going here. Be a Copa, Kelly Rowland. She yeah. smoked that. Yeah. Do you guys know she the movie? Amused. Do you guys yeah. know the movie Enough? <laughs> yes. <laughs> who's Who's in Enough? Jennifer Lopez. Oh, who else? I got to see the cover. No, let me see. Yeah, let me see. I, I got, it yeah. was like crazy. Like this movie? Isn't it a classic? No? Nah, hell no. Okay, <laughs> drop in the comments. Guys, <laughs> wait, stop it. Stop wait, it. Wait, it. Question. She said, stop it. Stop it. Is it a classic? What's the no? <laughs> Reggie, no. Reggie, turn your phone no. to, to the no, camera. No, we'll just put a picture. You can't see it. Like, nah, so guys, put in the comments if you've seen Enough starring Jennifer Lopez. Nah. Even though it has a 21 on Rotten Tomatoes, it's still a classic, damn it. Thank you. Reggie. She said. I'm not laughing. <laughs> you, I'm I will not, not let you guys guess my name. La- Wait, who, it's a love story? I forgot. No, we're moving on because now you guys hurt but my feelings. Who's a co-star? Who's a co-star? I don't know. I don't know. It's some, it's some <laughs> random. It's some random. <laughs> she be having no. a co-star, nah, bro. Because I see Monster Mar- Mar- It's a good look. movie. <laughs> nah. What's that, though? A no? I want a clip. I ain't never seen it. You know, Monster Law, she had, uh, what's her name? Wanda Sykes. You know, Jane Fonda. Monster Law's a classic. Man. Okay. 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 We got one. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Only classic she got is Selena, bro. Selena. That's the classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, she enough too, that. though. Nah, bro. Made in Manhattan. Enough too, though. Made in Manhattan not a classic? Made in Manhattan. I don't know none of these films. <laughs> A, maybe a, Alex just doesn't know J Lo films. Let me, <laughs> let, let me see, let me see the cover if you don't mind again. Yeah, Ma- you said Made in Manhattan. Made in Manhattan. Made in America. Yo, she did some shit. <laughs> made in the Bronx. This is a classic. Made in Manhattan is a classic. <laughs> Instant classic. Oh, yeah. uh, this is a sleeper. This is a sleeper. But oh, this is a sleeper. But have you guys ever watched Shall We Dance? Shall We Dance? She in that too? I heard of that shit before. This with wait, isn't this guy really you got popular? The cover. Richard Gere. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! You guys know this, but you don't know enough. Nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch I it later. Love Shall I we dance. I'm gonna watch it later. Though. Yeah, um. nah, I'm not. But that shit. <laughs> you saw, no, yeah, she, nah, I'm not. She did some shit with Vanessa Hudgens too. Some shit Recent came or out. No? Yeah, it came out a few years ago, and I was like, "Oh, that shit tough." I'm I'm about to spoil that movie, but basically, she was like this big corporate woman, and she like was killing shit in the industry, makeup <laughs> industry. Yeah. And then she got hired at this company. And she had put her daughter up for a sale, like for adoption or some shit. <laughs> and the daughter happened to be Vanessa, Hudg- Vanessa Hudgens, who was her boss. Wait, I watched this. You did? What See, is the name of it? Yo, that shit was hard. I was That's like, oh, crazy. she caught one. <laughs> she caught, <laughs> she caught one. Yeah, she caught what one. is the name of it? I don't know. Yeah. Yo, and also Hustlers with Cardi B. That shit was fire. Oh, they Hustlers. did that? Okay, yeah, yeah. That was fire. I like that one. That was, that was on was Netflix. Fire. I like Straight that one. DVD? <laughs> Blu-ray second act. <laughs> Didn't it go in theaters? No, that it shit went right to Blu-ray. Oh, nah, it did. I remember that. That was Ti was in that. I don't know. It's T. like I, was, I don't know. If she's was, a good actress. or That was Taker. Uh, Taker. Some shit. Ti was in some shit with Cardi B. Oh shit! I forgot. I don't know. Oh, you talking know. about the fucking? No, I was Chance the Rapper. Never mind. 
Oh, oh Chance the Rapper. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, check. Is go she check a good her. actress or not? Like, I don't know. She has a I, lot I, of good I movies. I think she acts better I, than she sings. I say damn. that's not saying much. And she dances. <laughs> damn. So which one y'all think? She's like the ultimate trifecta. Three like, and one. Mid off. She's a three and one. Yeah, it's like it's like all <laughs> mid, but like she does enough. <laughs> but she's gorgeous. <laughs> like, she is gorgeous. She is gorgeous. Kinda, like. See, yo, that pretty privilege will get you real far in life, man. Wait, oh. how have we said this and we haven't mentioned her freaking album recently? This is me now. Oh, that's her new shit? <laughs> yeah, you bumped that. Like, you didn't see, not, no, you didn't see like you know the what? animated, no, no, like the, the dramatic ass movie she paired with it? And I people were like roasting yeah, I saw her? It. <laughs> nah, I didn't see that. Yeah, Hold I up. seen that shit. We about, to, we about to give him a little Jenny, though. Just a little Jenny off the new joint. I'm still, I'm new still hits, Jenny New hits, new black. hits, more. This is me, more this hits. is me. All right. We could pick a song, any song. The I'm world scared. is yours. Uh, oh my God, fuck. Come on, hurry up, Reggie. People listening. If I rebound, rebound. the world. All right, we go. Imagine that. Check this out. Let's get Should a little right here. Live review, guys. Only Live here. review. I need to know. That new Jenny from the block, you heard. Hold on. Big J. Oh. Be, be doing a little something. This is something. called Rebound. That new J-Lo. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> what? So, yeah, she can't sing for shit. <laughs> Get your shit off, Jay. She, oh no! You hear the harmonies? You hear the harmonies? Okay. Beat, beat knocking though. Beat knocking. The beat ain't even drop. Oh, right, hold up. Let's get it now. Hold on. Oh no! This shit tough. Let's go. This shit a little See, tough. Oh, this shit got a little buff. <laughs> Hold up. Yeah, yeah, but uh, it sound like Timberland. It sound like a Timberland joint. Don't sound Timberland like that. Uh, 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 uh. Dang, that sound uh, like that shit. Was shit. Right. Damn. <laughs> nah, that shit was nah, That shit was a... I see the vision. I see what she was taking that up, was... but that's why she's so why great. Why did you say Timberland? Don't insult him. Nah, that. like the, the type of beat. And then it's the hard, beat. too. Cause that's, like, that's sound like old Timberland beats. Rainbow, rainbow. That does, it does sound a little bit outdated, though. Yeah, like a, like a, like a 90s yeah, Timberland does. beat. Yeah. That shit, I see where you was taking us. I see. I get it. <laughs> okay, I heard that. The, 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 yeah, the, 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 that type of vibe. Okay. Yeah, that, looks that shit tempo. was dope. Was that, that, tempo bounce. that sound like staccato. shit. That's what they're called. Staccato. Yeah, staccato. <laughs> oh, man. Listen, man. That's good shit. Nah, OD, OD, She OD. actually got some shit dedicated to Ben Affleck. The very next song is called Ben. Dear Ben, part two. So maybe she got a part one. Maybe she'll go check out part one one day, <laughs> then come back to part two. But I think it's fly when you spin the block and get your shit back. Ben is her muse? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty you much. Feel me? <laughs> now, what he's supposed to do with it? He already got it. He already got it. <laughs> so he compensating right what now. What he's supposed to do with it? Nah, he compensated. He's getting compensated right now. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> a lot of compensation. Yeah. <laughs> he getting comped. Think so? Mill comp. OD. Facts. Has to. Valet he, comped. He would be right if it wasn't. He's tell a legend. You, tell you. I ain't, I ain't mad at it. Speaking I, of I like uh, legends, uh, Summer Jam, I usually see a bunch of legends <laughs> at Summer Jam Festival. Summer Jam this year has been announced. Summer Jam, High 97, New York City's finest festival, you heard? You, you know did. the one. It rains every fucking year. It's a tradition. It's a tradition out here. Literally. Like if it doesn't rain on Summer Jam, it really happen. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to read the lineup to you guys. Again, this year is going to be at the UBS Arena. Uh, headlining is Doja Cat. Okay. Offset. I like that. Sexy Red. Um, all right. <laughs> that was hate. <laughs> Method Man and Red Man. Shout out to the game. Oh, geez. Watch it. Sleepy <laughs> Hollow. DeVito. 41. Kyle Ridge. Jen Carter. Tata. All right. They have that bent song. Honestly, got me bent. Bitch, when is we fucking again? Yeah. <laughs> that shit. And T Grizzly. Okay. Now, if you know anything about Summer Jam, Summer Jam is usually a highly anticipated event out here in New York. And... You really get to see the greats. Like I remember, I think Cardi B performed one year. Mm -hmm. Like you just really see a lot of notable people. Last year, I remember we hated the lineup as well. <laughs> like there was Fabio, Foreign, and Friends. I think it was French Montana and Friends. And they changed the location, right? And they changed the location to UBS Arena. UBS Arena is near Queens, oh, but wow. it is on the Long Island That's your side. Time. That is my side. Yeah, Trash. yeah. Trash. yeah. Trash. Shout out to Elmo. Watch your mouth, Massachusetts in the back. Massachusetts. I'm, I'm more New York than you. No, you didn't spell it. Anyway, continue. yeah, yeah. Anyway, you see how you, you see how you just turned the, the page nah, real quick. Nah, because I don't right? want the listeners to listen to lies and bullshit. And propaganda, right? Yeah, lies and propaganda from your ass. Uh, as I'm looking at this lineup, I'll be honest. New York don't care about Doja Cat. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I feel like America <laughs> we know cares about those guys. There you go. Speak, That's the speak, answer. Speak okay. for yourself. But isn't that... I, New York okay, does okay. not... New York, UBS Arena. Yeah, where I live? Hmm? Where do I live? New York. 
I can. <laughs> watch he this. Set that one Yo, watch up. this. Watch this. You going to summer gym? I'm gonna be there. No, you're not. No, Don't you're you not. Save on. Save on. You're not going to summer gym. You're not going to summer gym. Save on. Summer gym. You're not going to summer gym. Now you're about to make me buy tickets out of spite. Exactly. Now you're about to make me go cop one Jamaican nigga. But Doja Cat. Get off at Jamaica. I know. It was L.I. But Doja Cat didn't naturally make you want to go to summer jam. So stop it, bro. She did though. No, she didn't. Honestly, you were the cop tickets. Now that's the, honestly, those are my big faves. Offset, <laughs> Offset, Doja. Now he just saying shit. Those no, are my I'm, big faves, bro. Thanks. Offset, not my fave, bro. I, but see, I'm gonna I'm <laughs> keep it a hundred. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I'm gonna keep it a whole hundred. I'm gonna keep it a whole hundred. I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. The only two people and I'm speaking from New York. I'm sorry if you're not from here, you don't understand. Sorry, Savon, you're New York sorta. New York for the most <laughs> you're part. You're both from Long Island. I know, but Facts. he acting like he he knows. I said I want to see Doja Castle. Now I'm not from New York. No, you you <laughs> know what you know what I mean. Like to sell out the seats. New York is not fiending for Do- I, Doja Cat and T Grizzly are the only names I see here that New York is not fiending for. New York loves Offset. New York loves Sexy Red. Uh, Sleepy Hollow. That's a given. Sleepers from Brooklyn, Facts. right? Met the man, Red Man. That's a given, right? 41, it was the new cats. That's a given. The T Grizzly Doja Cat, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a little uh, sad. I brought it up because a lot of the other music festivals look to be doing a little bit better. Right, Reggie? Broccoli City, I know everybody reposted that shit because it was just yeah. so amazing. Yeah, OD. And South I want to read that one. South by Southwest just happened too, right? South by Southwest just happened. Broccoli City, really quickly. Headlined by Meg The Stallion, Gunner, Party Next Door. Come on, already. Bro, Victoria that's the Monet. same Come thing, on. bro. That's literally the same. Like, no, if you no, had a 3v3, three, if you, yo, if we did a 3v3 basketball game or some shit, like, <laughs> yeah. and you put Doja and Meg, yes. that's equal, bro. They cancel each other out. New York then kick. if you want to go, you said Offset and Gunner? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They got okay. Yeah, that's fair. Cool. Fair. That's fair as fuck. And who's the third? Yo, Doja. give me the big three. Give me the big three. Give me the big three party, on that. Pa- party next door. That's the third. Ooh. Yeah. All right, and I'm gonna go. Let me see. Who was the lineup for? Uh, T Grizzly. It's a handicap. Uh, it's not working. Forty one. Nah, I'm not taking none of them niggas. I know you not. Exactly. I Sexy you. red. I know so, you. Oh, facts. Sexy thank red. you. Thank you. So, thank you. That's a fu- that's a big three, bro. I'm I'm speaking to New York. See me, nigga. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, Summer Jam is very New York. That's like, why it's I'm not really it like a national yeah, thing. Yeah, like and if you really no want Summer Jam, but salute to we love Summer Jam. Yeah, but it's definitely very New York. It's based. a very New York type of like whoever does well in New York usually comes here. Again, I'm sure Doja Cat, like like Reggie was saying, she's important in America. Budget so cuts. Could, budget cuts is big. Right? Budget cuts. It's fucked up. And more and more of these uh these festivals. Like right, I want to just read some more names. Mm-hmm. Kay Trinata, Victor. This is from the Broccoli City. Victoria Monet, Key Glock, Sexy Red. Tizo mm. touchdown Friday V's Little Yachty. Mm. I mean, it, it, it's just a lot going on. It's just a lot going on. Yeah, even have certain um, streamers coming to Broccoli City, which Who's is dope. It? What the uh, heck? Duke Dennis. Oh wow, AMP. AMP. Yeah, yeah. To like host? I guess so. Yeah, they're it's calling so them crazy. live experiences. <clears throat> These festival lineups really tell me about myself. I'm listening. I don't give Same. a fuck. I don't give a fuck about none of them niggas. Nah. Half of them. Wait, have <laughs> like, you ever been to a festival? Same nah, I don't do that. Where you never been to a music festival? Why? Not even nah. when you were well, young. I went to. I went to, uh, went to Summer Jam. Oh yeah, you definitely. Been no, to Summer Jam. that's not like to me. To me, that's not a festival. Word, did oh, oh, no, um, it's like a concert. It's like Roots a big ass concert. Got you. The Roots Picnic. Okay, okay, that's like a festival. That's like. But I was working. Okay, that doesn't. Nah, you gotta be like laying on the blanket with your friends. I'm never doing that. What? That's just not you. That's not who I am. Really? I don't oh like, gosh! I don't like, I don't like Sorry. big crowds. No, 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 no. You know, <laughs> I, I don't like. I don't know. That shit. I don't know. <laughs> it's just not, it's just not you. It's not like a good time, bro. It's what about the Dreamville you. one? Uh, headline in SZA. Shout out to my shirt, Dreamville Fest merch. She got. I it. love Dreamville Fest. Hello, and I'm thinking about just going out there for a day this year. Let's do that shit for just real. for a day. Like yeah. I'm not even booking a hotel. Yeah, I, I think Let's do it. I'm going. We should do that. I I'm dotted for the day though. But I'm coming right back. Is you know an easy trip. Yeah, yeah, I think we should do it. For yeah, the day. it's on April sixth. I think we should do it for the day. Mm-hmm. SZA, Chris Brown, JID, Lil Yachty, Ooh. Schoolboy Q, Sexy Red again. Wow. Book them busy. What was we talking about? Jeremiah, Earth Gang, J Cole on day two, Nicki Minaj on J- on day two, Rama, Jeezy, Monica, Ray Sherman, Key Glock, Money Long. What That's we talking crazy. about? It's a lot going on. Uh, just to see festivals. So we got to go for two days. Ah, oh, fuck, fuck. Yes, we do. No, nah, I'm picking a day. I'm not You're gonna stay- pick the first or no, second. I'm not. No. Would well, you rather take Chris Brown or Cole? Di- yeah. Cole. Whoa. Really? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Cole, Nicki Minaj. Ah, oh, fuck. Nah, yeah, it's a little split nah. up. I want to see Scooby ah, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Guys, let's go. To- I'm dead ass going. Yeah, Yo, we I out. believe. You. Yeah, we should. Go. I-, I think I got I got some people we could go with too, bro. Word. Facts. Ooh, complex. What if I want to go by myself? 
You don't want to go with me? Nah, you Aww, can come. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, what, what kind of people? Just peoples. You know, our people. I was just like, what are you about to get me into? Like, yeah, just come on, bro. Ah, uh, yeah, we're all having, gonna have a safe and fun time. But what's all crazy right. is Dreamville yeah. Fest, that is, pro- I say this with the utmost respect, that's yeah. probably their weakest lineup ever. Really? That's, no, that's nah, how don't good. Say that. That's that it is. That's how good their their She's a fan. their wow. um festival yeah. lineup always is. Last year was Drake, no. Usher, J Cole, Burna Boy. Yeah, that is. That I'm like, how could they ever top this? Yeah, no yeah. offense to this year, but <laughs> how could you enough. ever top this? Did you go last year, Rich? Did Unless Jay Z comes. Sure. Rich, you went last year. I forgot. I did yeah. go last you year. Did. Yeah, she did. She did. I, I remember she, she was did. talking about it. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, some people told me, like, oh my God, Reggie's here. I'm like, damn. <laughs> Who hey, told you Reg that? in the building. <laughs> She's famous. A few people hit me actually about you. Who is it you that Reggie's here? <laughs> I barely talked to anybody. I was with my like little group. Niggas be knowing you. Oh my goodness. Uh, that makes me feel unsafe. <laughs> 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 but yes, if you guys are going to Dreamville Fest, come say hi. Yeah. I like it though. Yeah, I think we should do that. Yeah, like, I think for we real. Should. We be might lying. go to Summer Jam too. We just be lying. We don't no, know. I, I, I know, right? I'm really just thinking about going lying. to Summer Jam. Yeah, we've been I'm talking really... about going to like DR together for like three years. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 nah. Like, DC, we could just go to DC together or some shit. Like, That's overdue. Gotta be all that. that is overdue. I don't even got to be all that. Nah, I dead ass want to go to these festivals. Is this though. the beginning of the end? <sighs> of what? Of the end of what? Why would you say that? I don't know, because you wanted to talk about divorces and I needed a transition. <laughs> okay, that, my heart just dropped. That's mad I was like, stop funny. manifesting that, Savon. <laughs> yeah, like, what's wrong with Bull? I didn't know what else to what's say. What's your problem? No, and, and, and the reality, we're, 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 we're like doing great. Like, this <laughs> nah, is not the beginning yeah, yeah, of the yeah, end. Like, in real life. Nah, but let the internet tell it. What? I can't let the internet tell it. Stop saying <laughs> scary things like this. This thing is crazy, What the fuck? Uh, what divorces. the fuck? What's your I, I problem? Gave it, I gave it right to you, bro. Divorces. So CNN um, delivered a report. Yeah. I don't know how people are feeling about it because, mm-hmm. oh, fuck, I lost the article. But the headline is marriage rates are going up, but divorce rates are going down. Look and this is God. CNN. So in my mm. opinion, it's legit. If you don't like CNN, I don't know. Pulling this from CNN, divorce rates, uh, marriage rates were up. In 2022, and divorce rates continue to drop, according to the data. Divorce rates have been steadily trending downward in the United States, according to recent data. But marriages ending are still a common and disruptive experience. Yeah. Love, but love is back, baby. <laughs> we back. back, baby. <laughs> we back. <laughs> I wonder, and I tried to skim the article. I need some of that. <laughs> I tried to skim the article yeah. to kind of see like what reasons they provided. Right. But I'd rather just ignore it and come up with our own. <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> it's cheaper so to keep her. It's cheaper to keep her. Damn. Okay. That's, Especially that's, that's always been a saying. Yeah. It's cheaper to keep them. And, and you kind of get certain realizations after COVID. COVID was mm-hmm. a time that most people didn't experience, right? When was the last time where we had to stop going to work? We couldn't see our loved ones. We were living in a world that seemed to be a, a, a glimpse of what we lived in before, right? Mm-hmm. So I do feel like that put a different type of, even, even on a, um, a more technical level, right? I personally know somebody who was going through something but was married to his wife. He didn't have health insurance at the time. Mm. But because he was married to his wife, she was able to hold down all of the things he was going through, all of the health coverage, et cetera. And I don't know. I just feel like when certain scary facts happen in your life, you start to get real and, mm-hmm. and start to appreciate, you know what, man? Maybe, I, 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 maybe we could work it out. Yeah, maybe we could work it out. Maybe having yeah. another person is, is way more valuable than me just fucking for the rest of my life. Getting, Solo. <laughs> getting, <laughs> Solo. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. getting a divorce is like the equivalent of losing a bag or a wallet with all of your credit cards, your social security, your oh. ID, your passport. Getting a divorce is just a gruesome process. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah, for it's sure. just, it's just not fun. It's a lot. So unless mm-hmm. you really just hate this nigga, <laughs> or you really just don't want to be like I know people who have been separated like legally, but they just like I'm, there's no reason to get a divorce. Like he's happy with his situation, I'm happy with my situation. Like financially, well, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going like you mm-hmm. have to get lawyers involved. You got to pay. Like That's a fact. I'm not right. doing it. You are right that divorces are actually absolutely gruesome, but it's like it has <laughs> always been gruesome to sever ties. As a divorce, mm-hmm. it has always been hard. And I feel like now it's easier more than ever because there's mm. more divorce lawyers and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So why why is that stopping people now from getting divorced? I think inflation. For sure. Like everything oh, else is going up in the world. Okay, so right, now right. I was like, For wait, sure. this shit is going to cost Matt. Nah, I don't really hate that bitch that yeah. <laughs> I know some people right That's now. That's my nigga though. I know some, <laughs> I know some people right now married, hate each other, living together, figuring it out. Yeah. Damn. And it looks like they're going to continue to figure out. Granted, yeah. they share a child. Yo, I'm telling but you, man. Love is back, man. Love is back, yo. We love up. always wins, man. We up, P. It's our time. Shout love. out to all the real lovers out there. Word. Word. 
We the love is here. Savon, why you say nah? Why love isn't back? Yeah. Because I can't have a muse. <laughs> He's still on Shit. this. Get over it. So if I can't have a muse, get love is, doesn't exist. <laughs> get over it. Love is only Just a get... fraction of your imagination. No, it's not. It's nigga. a fraction of your imagination. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You see how he be doing that, right? Generalize <laughs> all this shit. Like, nah, we ain't no, speak. We, we ain't say that. That's how you that's feel. You. <laughs> love is merely Hold a business transaction. Hands. Oh, shit. That maybe it maybe it it's because like um people aren't. You know, I feel like people used to get married way easier in the past. They were just like, okay, fuck it, I'll, let's get married. But now people are choosing their th- uh, partners more thoughtfully, maybe, because we know more about, like, relationships and shit. Mm-hmm. But back in the day, like, you used to just, like, marry your high school sweetheart, like, so easily, I feel like, back in the day. I really just think, honestly... White people still do it. Yeah, they be getting married at, like, 23. White no people, offense. No offense if you got married at 23. A thousand percent still marry their uh, high school sweetheart. College sweetheart. But now it's like we're older, we make better decisions. Like yeah. we get married at like 30, 31, 32. Yo, actually, yeah. So when you said white people get married easily, say, well, it looks so. It fucked them up. so confused. I know, it fucked you up, didn't it? I have a theory too. I don't but, know if I want to say the theory, but I've been thinking of. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it, but I'm going to keep ironing it out because it's something I've noticed. Uh-huh. I think in our community, we have so much distractions. That okay. take us you. that take us away from um things that we actually need, right? Okay. So if I was to go right now inside <laughs> um the iPhone of a white person <laughs> I went to high school with, right? <laughs> What's the fuck is so funny? What the fuck is so nah, I know you're taking us. Keep going. Though. What's so fucking funny? <laughs> I go, bro. If I was to go inside the <laughs> white <laughs> Yo, what is so fucking funny? Nigga? Are you saying they have nothing better to do <laughs> but to get married? <laughs> no. Oh, y'all. No, that's, that's not nothing. That's nothing. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wow, that's crazy. That's what I think. I'm Yo. joking. I don't think that white people. <laughs> Leaders, don't hate me. Cook. In, the, in, the black, in the black phone, this is more distraction. I hear that's, that's You're trying to be that, funny. That's what you said. You're trying to be funny. But it's for real. Real talk. <laughs> If I was to take some of the white kids I went to school with and they iPhone and just to see their algorithms, I wouldn't see the shade room. I wouldn't see blogs. I wouldn't see toxic memes. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't see just a lot of the things that we have made normal in our community. Honestly, I don't know how offensive this is. I'm sorry. But that's why sometimes like me and John were having this conversation. Yes, I'm throwing him under the bus too because this problematic take. Like. If you look at like Caucasian podcasts, they be talking about nothing. Like they're like, "Ooh, pens versus pencils," Boom. and then, but then, like you know, yeah. people of another community, like I don't want to pigeonhole anybody. <laughs> no, it's all you. about like drama. I'll say it. Like you Toss, know, niggas. No, no, <laughs> our, our community. No, I'm, co- no, no, I'm included in this. Okay, no, yeah, I feel you. No, it's like drama, yeah. beefs, Yo, fucking yeah. like yes. all this stuff. Their algorithm is not filled Yo, with that. What's funny is just this morning. Um, you know how your reels just go out of note, go randomly? Yeah. It stopped for me on a podcast where there were two Caucasian women talking about they don't wash their hands after they use the bathroom. Wait, what the fuck? Ew. <laughs> uh, which, which is like, to Reggie's point, probably like, should. what are y'all talking about? <laughs> yeah, they probably should. Die. Yeah, they talk about nothing. That's nasty. We got to yeah. start doing a little bit more of that. I've yeah. always wanted to do that. What you mean? No, nah, we got to talk about- But for the Not wash hands? I want to talk about like, can you lick your elbow? Oh my god! But not even just, not even just what's discussed, yeah. just what they're not exposed to, right? I just I feel like these. You could do it. I feel like I think these blogs. Y'all laughing? I'm being dead ass. These blogs have a significant. Yo, look at shit. Yo. You're, you're supposed to be older than me, you know that. Right? Wait, do do, do it for the camera. You're the only one that didn't do it yet. Go, go, I, and I won't. <laughs> <laughs> look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Nigga, go. Why would I do that? Yeah. Come on. I wasn't not doing it. Don't make me do Reggie just did it. Look, look, look at him. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do that. Yeah, shit. you're going to look your yo, elbow, right? Yo, you get to make yeah. your elbows touch? It's crazy. I bro. can't. I already tried. I can't. No, no, no. Like the, your elbows touch together. Wait, if we're I can't t- make my elbows touch, we're I got titties. We're turning into Caucasians. Go I got titties. Yeah, I think so. What? Oh, shit. Reggie, Reggie, try it. Try to touch Oh, yeah, I could do that. I could do that, nigga. My titties ain't that big. Wait, touch my elbows? Yo, PA, you a B cup? I'm probably like a D. D. Damn, nasty. Oh, stay off, stay off hinge. Yeah, <laughs> stay away from me. Don't run down on you. Stay away from me, buddy. <laughs> but I get what you're saying. No, like, you don't. Nah, distractions. I didn't finish. <laughs> I didn't finish. You, you don't get it. White distraction versus black distraction. That's not what I'm saying. Right. I'm saying like, I've done it. Like I go in their phone, son, and it's, <laughs> and it's. Oh my God, uh, Greg's Greg just went to the hockey game. <laughs> Or the winery. Shout out to Greg. You know, or you know, they came back from the winery. Like, there isn't all the toxic shit we see. I don't see no Justin LeBoy. 
Real shit. <laughs> Yo, why is niggas laughing, bro? I'm being dead ass. Am I bugging? No, you named the whitest nigga doing oh. the whitest thing yeah. ever. It went through. But we but are that talking be about content. the white, white people. That's a what... hockey game in the winery. Is... Wow, that be bro. their algorithm, though. <laughs> That be it be it be yeah, the nice. algorithm. The uh, algorithm. What's a black algorithm? They're, I just told you the toxic memes, the blogs, uh, yo, the, the I, drama. Alex, who, huh? uh, Karen wants to know who Greg is. I thought you. Were, mm? yeah, I thought Karen was your favorite. Nah, white. Karen, you my favorite wow. white, bro. Don't worry about Greg. The hell is Greg. Don't worry about Greg. Karen really said, "Who is she?" Nah, <laughs> Karen, don't worry about him. None, nobody you got to worry about. That's what they tell you. Oh, That's what they tell you when you got to worry about. I only see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you good. You my favorite, man. Hmm. No, like I, no, like I. Real I, shit though. Yeah, like it's very like. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people who get married early. No, 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 not say that. That's no, very say offensive. that. No, what you about to say? I was gonna say like, um, <laughs> it's a lot of like very like small town mentality sometimes. Yeah. Like Bum when they get married niggas. at like twenty one, you know, have a baby by like twenty four. It's very like small town mentality. Yes, yeah, I feel that. I'm not trying to generalize all Caucasians, but like. I've like talked about this before. Yeah, with y'all my friends. Think, y'all think we got like some? I've been realizing white niggas that listen to us. Oh, did salute to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. Oh, okay, any Caucasian sure. people that listen to this, nah, they, speak your truth. But, tell, like, tell us in the comments. I want Those you guys to pander about that though, because Savon thinks it's a joke. But think about it though, real shit. It's it's different. They're exposed to way more than us. I mean, we're exposed to way more than them, and I think it just makes. Nah. Just more simple living for them. I think we're all exposed equally, just different nope. things. No way. I don't think so. No, it's no way. No, no, we all have the same outcome. That's we're, impossible. We're not talking about no all way. white people. We're talking about like the white whites. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you kind of like you the white whites. What you mean, white whites? You know the ones. Like who are, who live a different lifestyle than us? Yes, that's why I'm talking about. What is so funny? Like, okay, now I'm saying. Like, wow, yeah, what is so funny? Yeah, like niggas is acting like. It's something I noticed. That live in a complete no, bro. I'm sorry. Leave it in the comments. No, that live in a completely different world than us. Like that's what we're saying. Like that exists. Like it's not that outrageous. Do you think white people see the Justin LeBoy memes we see? Nah. Or all the toxicity, all of the blog, all the they don't don't see any of that. Yo, it's replaced with St. Patrick's Day. I know. Yeah. Shot the king. You know why I'm laughing? Because I'm a fan of us. So hearing y'all, like this was a moment where I put myself as a fan. That's it. I just thought that Go was Go on. Oh man. Yeah, man, leave it in the comments. Jesus, the white whites. You know the ones. The that could title? be our episode title. No. Absolutely not. No, no. and then Justin and then Justin no. Timberlake in our cover art. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Nah. Yeah. I was joking though. You should probably believe. I don't want to make fun of. Yeah. Like, we started crazy, though. With Dick Black and then Drake and then this is crazy. Full circle. Full circle, for real. What we do. Episode title, Full Circle? Um, I think we already News. named the podcast <laughs> Full Circle before. Oh, we did talk about Jennifer Lopez. Uh, what else do we got? Oh, LeBron James. He launched a podcast. That's interesting. I've seen that. did it's he? so that funny fire. because a few days yeah. ago, a few weeks, uh, honestly, it might have been a few days ago, I was talking to my brother. Dre, shout out to Dre. Dre listens to everyone. Dre, what man. up? Yo, yo, Dre a real one. He he yes. show up. He pulled up to John's Guys. birthday as Yay, well. Yes. Came through. Shout out to Dre. He, he shout out to Dre. Yeah, he show a lot of love. Shout out to Darius Wait. too, though. Of course. Shout out to Darius. Uh, What's Dre he would never in? hear this. Shout out to the whole fam, though. Now you got to Because Darius would never hear this. He I only hear. got two siblings that listen. <laughs> and one of them's on payroll. I got no siblings. <laughs> I don't think she would listen either. <laughs> but that's my baby. Hey, baby. He Wait, what's Dre's sign again? He's a cancer. I knew it. Damn, you did. Yeah. Wait, didn't I say it? I hope Bro. I said it on the mic. I know. I don't know if Fuck. I did, but what gave it? Because it's demeanor. Oh, like yeah. he's so nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But if you get on his bad side, oh, fifty cent. He, he turned into fifty cent. But he's so nice cent. and sweet. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he'll turn into fifty. Fifty. It's fifty. Oh, yeah. Shit. He'll turn into AKA fifty real quick. For Robbie. <laughs> but um, yeah. LeBron he launched a podcast with JJ Reddick. Um, yeah. Red Dick. Oh, that's a good one too. It's um, not. Oh, Red Dick. What? Oh. No. No. And he got two D's in this shit. It's oh, separate, yeah. right? Whoa. Stop it, bro. Stop it, bro. I'm certain that's the name. But <laughs> I was talking to my brother and we were saying how LeBron doesn't do interviews. Like, you see all these other NBA players, the athletes just go on each other's platforms. Like, KD will do an interview somewhere. Steph Curry, like, the big names, they literally, like, God rest his soul, Kobe Bryant. He even was doing podcasts before he passed away. Like, the mm-hmm. big stars were doing interviews. And me and my brother was like, yo, it's crazy because LeBron, he don't talk to none of these niggas. <laughs> like, I think he, he does, though. He he doesn't do interviews. Behind, behind closed doors, though. Yeah, not on but, interviews. That's what I'm saying. Like, he yeah. doesn't get on anybody's 
podcast. And yeah. so uh, when he announced his podcast, him and JJ Reddick, I thought like, wow, this makes a ton of sense. Wait, that's crazy. Um, yeah. Again, just me and being infatuated with like Capricorn and how they think. Of course, yeah. LeBron James is going to do a podcast that obviously is produced by his company in conjunction with the biggest white analyst right now, right? Yeah. I, I would say JJ Reddick. And not outside of just being white. Well, actually, fuck that. I'm going to be honest. The white black thing is a component to content, especially yeah, in the sure. sports media world. For sure. Yeah. Right? Like, that is a template and has been proven to work. Yeah. Right? So, if I'm LeBron James. Skip Bayless. And, Shannon. Yeah, Skip, Shannon, Skip, Stephen A., uh, Jacoby, and Jalen. And that was like the blueprint. We got Pat Bev and his white dude. We got yeah. Paul George it's and his white dude. a token white guy to all the sports podcasts. Yeah, them, they be knowing. Like, yeah. it, it's, just, it's a dynamic, bro. It's science <laughs> to it. I don't make the rules, but this is what we get. Type shit. Um, and so, when I saw LeBron, I'm like, of course, this makes sense. LeBron LeBron James, he is who he is, the GOAT, one of the GOATs, one of the best, whatever, cool, right? Yeah. And then he goes and gets J.J. Reddick, the biggest basketball analysis right now, who has ESPN, Ooh. who has his own. J.J.'s bigger right now. So it was really dope to see that. And yeah. it's just another example of this podcasting shit being really, 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 really difficult. Um, nah, no way. What do you mean? I get that. You, you don't look at him as comp, though, right? I don't look at him as competition, but everybody's competition. Anybody who... Just taking a listener away yeah, from someone. Like it's, it's all competition in some degree. Like, no, we're not direct competitors to LeBron James. Like, not on this Hell lifetime. No. Yes, problem. we are. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> right, cool, sure, <laughs> sure. But Every, everything is. You got to look at life as everything is a competition. No, you don't. Okay, nah. I don't do that. <laughs> nah, 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 no, we don't. Nah, we don't. If you, please, if you, you wanna, if you please don't get, listen to this. If you want to get everywhere, anywhere in life of significance, you you, at some point, you need you therapy. You got to look at some. You, need, you got to look at life. As, um, I don't believe in that. You need therapy. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, you have these two kids. Wait, wait, no, no. Make sure your wife around. Not facts. They need no because like Pierre, like so. My success is always, always, always based on me I'm paying not, attention to somebody else and making sure I can beat them. No, you, you're right. I'm not gonna say always. Some, <laughs> you literally just said that's why we were like, nah. I'm I'm, I'm retracting. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. most often, <laughs> most you, often. Gotta, you gotta look at things as a. Sometimes I agree with sometimes. Yes, it, it brings <laughs> out the best in you and all that shit. But the, I refuse to be constantly looking at these other bitches what they're doing. Like absolutely fucking not. <laughs> like facts. sometimes no. Like facts. <laughs> stand on it. <that>. No, <laughs> sometimes. Stand I don't care that. what you're doing. Like, Stand heavy on, on it, not caring what you're doing. But yeah, on, when I saw LeBron do it, I, I, I just thought, like, okay, yeah. now it's another person, ma like a massive person yeah. in the space. Yeah. Um, They're also talking X's and O's, which is good. Putting on a mask. Regardless, he's talking, right? Like, we don't really hear LeBron in no, that. That's what I'm speaking yeah, to. Yeah, 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 like just hearing his his uh, basketball IQ brain. Yeah. Just yeah. break down. It's, it's all like market share and shit like that. And, you know, if you do have aspirations of having a podcast, good luck. <laughs> this shit is hmm. fucking difficult. I wonder if it's gonna feel like a podcast, or is it just gonna feel like another like sports show? Nah, Good question. When I was, watching, I wonder if they're on Apple. That'll tell me. A when lot. I was watching it, I felt like I was a fly on the wall, listening to a basketball yes. mind, you know, dissecting plays and asking somebody else questions, mm -hmm. you know, and, from his sport. And right, Pierre, and and the passion and love for it. Yeah, you know, a, a lot of the uh, and salute to all the the sports uh, shows out now. I feel like a lot of them started off very uh, guest based, yeah, and gradually they've turned into some salaciousness mixed with the guest based stuff around the sports topics. Yeah, so I, it is a little bit refreshing to see something that, for a, a basketball nerd, right, just a basketball aficionado, people who is a fan of the game just have something that they could go to, and it doesn't have all the little drama bullshit everybody's so into. That's that's fine to me. Oh, okay, all right. It is on Apple Music. Yeah. Um. Because a lot of these people, a lot of people in general, like they'll do these YouTube shows or quote unquote podcasts, and they don't ever want to categorize it as a podcast. Got gotcha. you. And so sometimes they don't put it on like podcast platforms. So I was curious to see if LeBron done that. Now he getting that ad money. They're they're on Apple. Yeah. So uninterrupted ain't playing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> shout out to them, man. Yeah. Shout out to uninterrupted. Yeah. Um. I don't. I don't know if there's anything else that I necessarily want to talk about. Oh, I do actually. There's there, there, there's a PSA. And mm -hmm. I want to give out to all of the eldest siblings. Um, it is our responsibility. It is our duty to make sure that we are bridging the generation that comes after us with greatness. Facts. I see a lot of people who listen to music, um, who watch shows and don't know the history. I'm going to expose my sister. Baby, I love you. Uh oh. She was dating a guy. Oh, bro. <gasps> Sis. Long time ago. Many, many moons ago. Many okay. moons. And if she wants that bleeped, 
she can edit it. She's in her <laughs> shit. I don't care. <laughs> whatever you want. We, we can cut it. But she was dating this guy. And I remember, cool guy, whatever, cool. He came around. And he, a song came on. My sister, she's really in tune with music. And as one of her older siblings, her older brother, eldest brother, I take pride that my sister has a very large palette for music yeah right like she knows the history of music she's very familiar with these artists the artists that she listens mm -hmm. to on the daily had it feels like oh no she knows what she's doing like of course she turns up and she listens to the new shit too sure but like if stevie wonder comes on the boys mm -hmm. and men come on like she's in tune she she's tapped I feel in. The same. she knows right yeah. and so i feel a sense of pride when i hear my sister's saturday morning cleaning playlist Cause I'm like, Aww. oh shit, that she got that long hell. She got that shit on. Oh, she got some slaps on it. Very good trait. Yep. But she yep. was dating a guy. Okay. Uh oh. And the song came on, and you know I was playfully like, hey man, do you know who this is? And he was like, nah, I don't. And I looked at my sister in disgust. <laughs> so, because now fella. the responsibility that I had or that we had as a family to make sure you knew great music and artists. It is now her responsibility to make sure that another man never looks me in the face and says he doesn't know who Alicia Keys is. Oh my freaking! Yeah. Oh wow. my gosh! We're there now, huh? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Wow. So you don't know my I do. Song. I, I want to make sure that I'm letting all the eldest siblings know wow. we need to pass on this information. Now, granted, my sister she did get that information. Damn. So job well done, Savon, Dre, Darius, Narkim. Job well done to us. But, um, you know, don't ever bring a guy around me again. I love you, baby, but don't do that I feel shit. like that's very wow, important. That's fucking or just make up. sure he knows who Alicia Keys is before he come around, even mm -hmm. if he doesn't know when y'all meet. This is definitely a very full circle moment. We kicked off this episode discussing a lot of our childhood and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, just reminiscing on what made us young. And it is so crazy to even think about being the adults we looked up to when, when I was- We're literally the yeah, adults. Like, like we're not like up. pushing yeah. adult. No, we're literally adults Fuck right man. now. Doesn't like, know who Alicia Keys is? Oh, what the hell? Yeah. Oh Keys. my God. I'm so, I'm I love my little sister Damn. so much because she's kind of, she's even like cooler than me at this point because I was not <laughs> as cool as her at that age. Like Alicia Keys, her favorite artist. That's why for her birthday. Oh, really? For her birthday, Look I literally took her, I surprised her with Alicia Keys tickets. Wow. Barth Clay Center. Look at that. She, at the age of like 12, 13, like she would go after school, save up her money and go to the record store mm -hmm. spend time with the old people there hearing their stories she wrote about it in her essay for Fine. like for admissions like she's a cool ass girl <laughs> and so shout out to me <laughs> she's a cool ass girl so shout about, out to me i was about to say that good job thank nah, you yeah, thank yeah. you thank you thank Big you salute, right? but i feel like she we, has an old soul yeah we you you have to instill those things unless the world will just take over your siblings and now yeah. they're listening and now they're freaking losers yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> and nothing in this whole world don't mean a thing if i ain't got you with me baby this has been the need to know radio See ya. That was good. Yeah, thanks, um, man. I don't got nothing else I want to talk about either. Hey, y'all, it's been the Need to Know Podcast. <laughs> what you need to know, what you need to know on the Need to Know Podcast. As always, please like, subscribe, comment, and add to the conversation in the comments. Yes. Yeah. We love when y'all do that, whether that be on Apple, whether that be on YouTube. Be a part of the conversation. We love y'all. We'll be back soon. Gang. Wait. Oh, shit. Hold up. Oh. I got one more question, yeah. and it's quick, yeah. and it's really, really quick. So, wait, wait, wait. But, uh, Are we going to cut after No, 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 no. Okay. We're keeping it rolling, keeping it rolling. Yeah, I bet, I bet. Who had the faster fall off? Just give me a name and then we out. The baby or Jonathan Majors? The baby. The baby, because nah. I'm still seeing stuff about Jonathan Majors and I feel like he's going to get another movie role. Yeah, the baby. I saw the baby opening up for a comedy club. Goodbye.